Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 23 of Persona 3 FES. Oh my god, god. yes, that is Cold Steel music, Yolo. And specifically, this is the music that plays um, when you're in the wonderful town of Trista, actually, which is the um, town that's right by the um, Thor's Military Academy. Such wonderful music and very, very calming, to be sure, too. You think you'd feel like um, you're out in a nice, like, town and stuff in a nice, like, spring day or something like that, and you'd get to, like, go to a couple of shops and stuff and just kind of, like, you know, just enjoy the day for the most part. And that's this music for the most part. Yo, Giovanni, Lexi, ah, you're back. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome. And Tor, I see you up in here, too. Dude. Yes, no, seriously, like, I'm under your uh, Dude, no. How many of you guys have played Soul Hackers 2 just yet? I've only played, like, I want to say, like, the first four hours of the game. If that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, I got a couple opinions about it here and there. And, um, I will say that those people who have been, um, reviewing the game have actually been pretty spot on this pe <laughs> in this particular instance. Just because, uh, well, I mean, we could talk about it a little bit more so when we actually get, like, really going in the stream, but I do have some concerns about it and everything. I will say, though, that I am very appreciative of the fact that, um... The Yasugami High and the Shujin Academy uniforms and the music is available in this game and everything, but... We'll, we'll cover that in a little bit and stuff, but that is DLC that I believe is well worth the money. Just because, like... I mean, the music in Soul Hackers 2 is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, but... It's just much better for all the Persona music for the battle sequences and stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I actually like hearing Last Surprise and, um... Uh... Oh shit, what was the Persona 4 uh, soundtrack for battle music and stuff? Oh shit, I forget the actual track name and stuff, but still, like, that one. Dude. I'm actually gonna be, like... Switching the uniforms every single time I'm going about these ones and stuff like for real dude seriously I got to hear some p4 and p5 battle music and stuff like for real, but still that's it reach out to the truth There you go No, that's the name of the track and yeah, no for real dude seriously like I actually love like listening to those things when we enter these battle sequences and stuff and no for real it's It makes the battles that much more like real in my opinion or they like they're a lot more fun to go through but it's just me. I played just a little bit, but I'm enjoying it so far. Mm, mm. So the part that I actually stopped at was the part where we just unlocked the ability to do demon fusions and stuff, which actually is a lot farther into the game than I thought it was going to be and everything. But um, yeah, I'm not going to like complain too much because we actually do have a lot of really good stuff to um, sink our teeth into and including a lot of characters who are really, really cool and iconic. I think, but still. One of my favorite characters is actually Tara. Like, she's cool. She's got a great look to her as well. Like, oh my god. She's great. Uh, Yume is great. And um, there's so many other characters that are, like, really, really good with it, too. But still, like, we gotta dive a little bit further into this game to see exactly what we can actually, or what we're in for with this. Ringo's cool. Ringo's awesome and everything. So, um, as a protagonist and a lead in this game and everything, that works. Um... Fig is pretty cool too, like I'm not gonna lie, like she's, she should take a little more of an active role in the game in my opinion, but that's just me. I don't know, maybe they're trying to balance things out or something like that, I don't know, we'll have to see. Alright you guys, this is that time again, grab a popcorn, maybe bacon chips, maybe some tea, some coffee, bread, and take your fancy, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As we introduce to you, your host of the EP The Darkest Depths. The Kingdom of the Barrel. No, I mean Tartarus. I mean, no, 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 Kyoto. The end in Kyoto. Danger. Doug. What is going on, people? Dude, yes, this is liberal music and all of the crazy stuff from the Trail series. And no, dudes, if you remember from the first game and everything, all the crazy stuff that we went through with that one, dude, seriously, that is a game that you really need to check out every once in a while and stuff, but still. Um, let's get the game booted up over here, and we should be... Uh, good to start. Uh, there it is. Okay, cool. So again, for all of you guys who are actually like using this as a guide and play through with everything, we basically stopped around um, November nineteenth uh, with this one. I think it's only a couple of days um, with this trip, so we're not really like out there for a full week. I think it really is like our last day um, on the school trip, so we're just gonna get back to it or some of that. But still, 
Um, I was just playing Cold Steel 2. Oh wait, YOLO, what part are you at? What part are you at? I'm softly like working through that game along with Soul Hackers 2 and I'm at the epilogue in Cold Steel 2, but still like, oh my god. That is a game for the ages, like without a doubt and stuff, but still. Okay, um, for all of you guys who are using this as a guide or walkthrough uh, type of thing and stuff, here's the personas that we're rocking, at least for right now. Um, I know I got a couple bits of room in here for a couple of other ones that we um, could probably add to it and everything. So if you have something like this as a benchmark, feel free to um, say that you're doing pretty good for the most part. So if you have this, um, then you're doing pretty good too yourselves, but still. Raphael should be pretty cool, but still. More testing is required, I suppose, but still. Okay. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. What's up? Oh wait, this is where we actually get this one. Let's get going. Yeah, and this guy over here, Ryoji, not Ryuji. Ryoji's been like hanging out with us lately, but okay, who invited you? Do the dungeons and clean up? Oh my god, god, let's go. Wait, which dungeon are you on? Um wait, did you get past like the mi the midpoint in the game and stuff where um like they start to do like the spirit shrines and stuff, or like where you at, dude? The hot spring is so relaxing. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for the uh, wonderful info. Hey yo, yo Trillite, what's going on? And a blade, what's going on, dude? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. So Junpei's apparently looking for us, and he's down over here with us. So let's see exactly what my man is up to and everything. He's looking kind of down on himself a little bit. So what's up, dude? You okay? Sup, Akoto? You want to check out the outdoor hot spring? <laughs> He's looking to check out the women in the hot spring and stuff, and he needs somebody else to blame uh, for uh, his presence there and stuff. Yeah, let's go. Uh, maybe later. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, dog. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this is going to turn out very badly, isn't it? Um, yes, it is, but that's okay. It wouldn't be a JRPG unless there's a hot spring scene somewhere in the game, but still. Um, been so long, but I hope everything is fine. Um, I'd say save. Dude, let's go. Artemisia is named after the goddess Artemis, sister of Apollo, and the warrior queen. Dude, yes, no for sure. Um, then if you need a character for puzzles, um, which I don't let you space in party for box challenges. Oh, right, right, right. I'll go get Akiko Senpai and Ryoji while you go back to your room and get ready. What is there to get ready for? I mean, do I have to change clothes for this? Or, um... Because you know when you go to the hot springs in Japan, you don't wear clothes, ladies and gentlemen. It's a thing, and I did it. It was freaking awesome, dude. Anyways! You don't wear clothes in Japanese hot springs. You do take showers well before you get your ass in there and stuff, so, um... If anything, you are clean. And the expectation is that you would be clean. Just saying. Just saying. Would you like to get ready for the hot springs? Uh, sure, I guess. That's what we're here for. I hope you're ready for the hot springs. Dude, I expect the women to throw chairs and all kinds of food at us. Did you know that this hot spring is open to guys at certain times and girls at others? Well, if it's the only space they got to work with, Ryoji, uh, Rio uh, that makes sense. No way, really? then there's a chance it could change to girls only while we're still bathing. They usually have a guy uh, come out and tell you, hey, it's ladies time only. And then when the girls like are in there and then telling the girls to switch, it's usually a woman who actually comes out and says, hey, ladies, time to switch. But if that happens, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we're already here. God right? damn it, Junpei, you're trying to figure this out and it's like, Either not going well or going very well, just depends on your perspective, I guess. That's true. We couldn't be blamed if something like that were to happen. They they have people who tell you to get your ass out, and it's ladies time. Don't you agree? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Don't ask me. Uh, 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 yeah, of course I agree. Well, it's really just a hypothetical question. Well, I mean, it's not like it would happen. It was nice knowing you. Hot springs are relaxing. It's worse than Persona 4. Wait, it's worse than Persona 4? Dude, Persona 4 was, was bad. I mean, the guys couldn't be blamed, but like, how is it worse than P4? Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? Junpei, it's getting hot in it. No, stop, 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 stop. How's your stealth? Uh, we worked on it. We'll, we'll just do the best we can. Junpei and Ryoji seem to be acting strange. 
So, Junpei, at what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only? I invited you guys over like five minutes before the changeover was supposed to happen. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't bother to check. I didn't right, bother to check? Friend? I can't be held responsible for this. Time for Metaglish Solid. Um, do you have the skill of a Phantom Thief? Uh, we are... We worked at it as best as we could to the point in this game where we are now. So, if our skills are there, we will go undetected. If not... Well, shenanigans are gonna ensue and stuff like that, so we'll, we'll see what it looks like, I guess. Right, but it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? Yeah, I wonder where these women get cabbages and carrots and stuff to throw at us. It's so weird. Like, where do they come up with this stuff? So that's why we came at this strange time? Oh, you two are such idiots. <laughs> well, no. Your death counter will soon be 23. Uh, well... <laughs> Calm down, man. We are just joking. Although you're right about it being a weird time to be here. It's so weird, isn't it? It's like there's no other guys here, and there's usually, like, maybe another couple of dudes who are just hanging out in the corner, but... It's not the case right now, but still. Death is not a hunter of unbeknownst to its prey. Oh my god, did a blade, of course. Junpei Ryoji, it's guys like you that make things less fun. Dude. Well, no, I knew guys like this in high school. That's my thing. I knew people who were like this in high school. Uh, don't worry. It's pretty late. I doubt any girls would... I doubt any girls are going to want to do any late night bathing. I mean, that's not a thing in Japan, is it? No. Shit, someone's here. What are we going to do? Uh, is it still marked as guys time outside or has it now been switched over to girls time? It's probably just a guy. Well, well, don't worry. The new kid says don't worry. This is simply a misunderstanding. We'll just act like we didn't know. I mean, of course, that's the, that's the solution, right? Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh my God. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Oh, you're right. It's the size of a swimming pool. Hey ladies, uh, us guys are just finishing up. We'll be right out. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me. I guess I think you've seen pretty much all of me at this point. You shouldn't, like, mind, I wouldn't think, but the rest of the women will kill me. Probably. Damn it, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Hey, Junpei, you didn't think of that before you dragged us into this? Dude, that's why he was down there by himself, because he's like, there's no way I'm going to be solely responsible for creeping on the women later on later this evening and stuff. I'm going to get you guys involved, too, because damn it, if I'm the only one who's here creeping on the women. Yes, both you san and fuka -san. This is my luck. Shut up, idiot. Here you. Oh, damn. You're going to. Yeah, I should just leave him here. Hold on. Is he gonna drown? I don't know. Let's let's find out. Oh, you evil bastard! Leaving him underwater for that long? Are you sure he can't breathe? Junpei, are you gonna take him out? I mean, how long has he been out of there right now? I mean, can he actually breathe underwater? Who's that? Is someone there? No. What's the matter, Yukari? Did you hear something? <laughs> Alex, what's going on, dude? Why is this the first thing I see on the stream? Uh, well, uh, you came at a great time, or a very bad time, depending on your perspective and stuff, but, uh, hi, what's going on? How's your Saturday going? Holy shit. We're about to get our asses kicked by a bunch of ladies, so, uh, grab a seat and grab some snacks. It's gonna be awesome. Uh... Mitsuru's here too? Ah oh, man, there's no way she'll consider this just a misunderstanding. I ship those two. I ship those two together. Akihiko and Mitsuru should be a couple. Like for real. Dude, seriously, like, oh my god. I shipped it from the beginning. 
Yeah, but it's not like we could get expelled for this, right? Aki wasn't concerned about Yukari or Fuka or some of that, but the minute he hears Mitsuru, he's like, uh, oh shit, uh, no, this is, you know, this is my woman, and if I f up with my woman, uh, no. I, my ass is toast for the rest of my life. I mean, it, it was men only when we got here, so it's actually kind of funny if you think about it. God damn it, Junpei. God damn it. He's already trying to come up with his excuses and story. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. If she finds us, she'll... She'll kill us. A port mission. What? She'll what? She'll kill you! Junpei, how do you not... execute us. How do you not know after being with her for, like, eight months? E execute us? Damon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I heard something. Fuka, could you check over there? It, it could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh, okay. Guys, guys, what's going on? Wait, is there an anime scene for this? Oh, wow. Um,. The only thing uh, uh, that you got on is a towel, Fuka, so, uh, okay. I'm scared to look around all by myself. Yukari chan, will you look around with me? <sighs> okay, fine. Let's start on the right side. Try not to get caught by the girls! If you do, they won't let you off the hook very easily. Now run it. Hide. Wait, this is a mechanic in the game? Oh my god. Yo, whoa, 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 okay. Here's the condition. If you do get caught by the girls, then they won't let you off the hook very easily. That implies that they will eventually catch me, but they'll let me off the hook a little bit more easily later if I don't get caught. Right? Right? So either way, we're going to get caught. Just how badly they let us off the hook or not, I guess. Honestly, I wish this butts us back. Dude, wait. You can fully escape this? Toru, really? Now run and hide. They won't catch you if you hide well enough. Well, how do we see them? Like, is there, like, obstacles to, like, hide behind or something? Or, uh, um, whoa. Uh, um... Oh! Oh! Okay, alright, they're over there, goddammit. Okay, alright, wait, 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 just... Just... You can make all the noise in the world, just don't let the women see you! That's how it gets up there, goddammit. Okay, alright. Are they gonna, like, come out this way, or...? How... how's this work? I don't wanna go over there, I'm too scared. Shit. Wait, I guess it's, like, standing right there. I don't even know if I wanna mess with that. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. I don't see anyone. <sighs> hmm, that's strange. I thought I heard someone. Well, let's try the other side. Uh, um. Alrighty. Um. Wait, can we hug this outer wall and I just never see us? Is that possible? Hmm? <laughs> oh shit. Intruders detected. I guess shut the f <laughs> Circle left? Wait, you can actually get away with this? Uh we uh <laughs> um <laughs> uh Dude, the one who has the most daggers in her eyes right now is Mitsuru. Just like looking at her, she will kill us, by the way. This is a misunderstanding, ladies! I mean, I guess. Way to rat us out, I guess. I thought we were cool. I mean, you saw me sleeping like 10,000 times this semester. Wait, wait th th this is just a misunderstanding. Circle right, circle left, hide in the center waterfall. It was nice knowing you, friend. Oh, God, no. I think everybody's got to screw this up at one point or something, just because of it still. Silence. Oh. oh. Shit, it's about to get really bad, isn't it? I'm going to execute you all! 
It was a misunderstanding. I didn't do any. It was Junpei's ass. It was ass. nice knowing you. Whoa. I guess, could you please stay out of this? I just want Mitsuru to step on me. Like, everybody else can just... Yeah. Anyways! Wait. Is that it? Oh, come on. Wait. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow. I thought we were gonna get, like, thrown out and it was, like, shit thrown at us, like, vegetables and stuff that I have no idea where they actually got those vegetables from, but, um, oh, okay. School excursion, the last day. You'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train in the afternoon. You are free until then. Why is the sinister music Everyone happening? Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Even I guess couldn't help you- Dude, I guess! You like literally saw me naked like 15 times this semester. How come we're not cool yet? Uh, what time? Uh, what, what time? What, did, did, did you tell us? Uh, is it on a piece of paper somewhere? The, um... Hey, uh, Junpei, uh, I mean, uh, Akihiko, where the hell is, what time are you supposed to leave? Then please be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. Mr. Ryumi, what time are we supposed to leave again? I don't remember. I'll never forget Kyoto. I bet you won't, especially after what happened last night. How could I after last night? Right? <laughs> Dude, Akihiko's so broken up over that. Dude, seriously, like, oh my god. Himitsu are an item! They're an item for f <laughs> Dude, he feels so bad right now. Oh my god, oh my god. You can tell the disappointment in his face and stuff. This is crazy. You could reload and try again if you want. Oh man. Should I though? Should I? Or should we just take this? Does the scene that change at all? It was an execution. Thank you for the input, Ryoji. You're so observant. What did she do to him? What did she do to him? Uh, I don't even know if I want to know now. Ugh, just try to forget about it. What happened last night? You know, I know a counselor, boys. His name is Dr. Maruki. We should go talk to that man. Oh. Good morning, Yukari. Didn't mean to... Yeah, well, last night... <laughs> also, the scene does change. That's the thing school presents do, I think. Oh my god, it's best that you don't know. Derek, my creative imagination is taking me very wild places for what she could have possibly done to these young men, or men. Don't go there, don't go there. Looks like they're still pissed. Of course they are, Junpei. It was your bright idea. Uh, <laughs> oh, she doesn't even look at them! She doesn't even look at them! Mitsuru walked past you without looking in your direction. <laughs> she doesn't even look at them. She's like, I'm not even going to pay attention to any of you guys at all for what happened last night. Hello. Hey, Ken. What's up, buddy? Wow, that was fast. That was Kyoto. Aw, oh, man. I'm so tired. That was a lot of fun! I brought back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell you to him later. Oh, oh, okay. I can't wait to hear them. We can't go to Tartarus tonight. We're all too tired. Let's go tomorrow night. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. Oh shit. Wait! Say goodbye to all my female social life. Are they all- No, Fuka's not pissed at us. Um, neither is Yukari. Honey Nut Chihiro doesn't like us very much anymore, and I gotta imagine that Yuko isn't forgiving us neither. Dude, and I remember no baby, it was freaking like pissed us for canceling with him. Dude. Wanna reload and see the good ending? 
You know, since we like literally just started this stream, like what, like 10 minutes ago or some of that, let's do that. I kind of want to see it now. I mean, we were basically right there with the um, save point, so why not? I mean, they specifically put Akihiko right there with the save, right before this iconic scene. So, okay, so circle to the right, circle to the left, and then go somewhere in the middle of the waterfall thing. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's try this again and see what we can actually do. You actually managed to reverse social links? Yeah. Trilla, isn't it crazy like how much like people get pissed off at you in this game? It's crazy. The only one who got like pissed off at me in Persona 4 was I. Um actually she was the only one who was able to piss me or not piss me off. She pissed me off by reversing, and I pissed her off by um being an asshole to her. So uh yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, shit hit the fan and it was bad, but still. Romanceable social links are easy to reverse. Mm mm. -hmm. If you're not careful enough, the trick is to sit in the water ripple on the is to sit the water ripple on the right side, and then once they leave, slowly move to the left and hang on the left side, and then hang back in the hole in the rock. You're the breaker of hearts. Oh yeah, I know, right? Hey man, you want to check out the hot spring? Yeah, sure, Junpei. Yeah, dog. I'm gonna get the others so we um aren't the only ones who are blamed for this bullshit. All right, okay, go to your room. Yeah. I just one of the two social links that could be reversed in P4, the other one was Naoto. Dude, I'm so freaking happy we did not screw up with Naoto. Like, for real, dude. Seriously, that would have been a hard one to um, deal with being reversed just because she's so late into the game. It's like, now to waste my time like trying to make good with her and stuff? Like, ugh. Terrible. What do you have to do for Naoto? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I might cycle through some of their text really quick to just kind of, you know, do the thing and stuff. Whoa! Uh, well, okay, there we go. Well, it's really... Hey. Hey, isn't it getting kind of Sorry. hot in here? I kind of feel the presence of girls in the, uh, you know, other room right there. Uh... But Junpei, that's not a good thing. Um... Shit! Someone's here! You need to be an a-hole to what reverse Naoto? Oh, man. Well, is it one of those like things where you specifically have to choose a very like bad answer with her? Like, I mean, most of us are pretty good people, pretty good natured for the most part. But you specifically have to try to be an asshole to her to get like that social link reversed. Like you, you have to really try hard to screw up with her. Yes. Hmm. Well, it makes sense though. She's such a late game like social link. That's like okay. Well, that would just. I don't know. I wouldn't like it if we um, were in bed with her and stuff like that. So if anything, like, yeah, and no, I'm glad that you actually really have to try to be an asshole to get that reversal and stuff, but still. How would you be an asshole to Naoto anyway? She's so sweet, dude. It's probably Same with just I. a guy. You need to refuse uh, helping her with the Phantom Thief? Oh, right, right, right. It's probably it's just, just a guy. It's just a big misunderstanding. Oh my God, it's the women. Uh, What do we do? What do we yes. do? What do we do? Both yes, it's the two Focus girls on. that I tried this to ask out the other day who told me off, and now's my chance again. Oh. Mitsuru's here too? Um. Mitsuru's here too? Uh, yeah, that's mean, my real girlfriend. Uh, you know, what? this is Mitsuru we're talking about. Sure. She will kill us. Exe yeah, Ryoji. Yeah, she will kill us. Um. I don't think Mitsuru's execution does 999 damage. Oh my god, you're dead. Dude, you know what's freaking crazy? Was the twins' um, all-out attack when you screw up with their fight and stuff. Like, that just like, oh man. Kills me every single time and everything, but still. I'm scared to look around by myself. Yukari chan will you look around with me? Uh, okay, fine. Let's start on the right side. Try not to get caught by the girls. If you do, they won't let you off the hook very easily. Now run and hide. Um. Shit! 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 Whoa! We should just wait here until the text happens. For real? Hurts more emotional. Um, Megadolian hurts most physically. Dude. Dude. Just wait. Wait for it. There's like a timer to these things, right? Or do I have to take like a bunch of steps or something like that? I don't 
see anyone. Wait, wrong water ripples. Far right where the water falls. You can go right to the fountain. Uh, you'll be safe. Why are F specs don't sound right? <laughs> I don't see anyone. Hmm. Well, that's strange. I thought you heard someone. Well, let's try the other side. Um. Alrighty. It'll just be very... Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. There... That was where the women were. Oh, oh, no, there, there they go. Okay, you can wait for this. You should wait for this. Don't, don't be too quick. Don't be too quick or they will see you. Don't hide from the women unless you're fully confident. Wait, is that Mitsuru up there? That is Mitsuru up there. Oh, wow. All right, we're screwed, dude. Well, we're not, we're not, we're not. Just can't go too far. I guess you could say you've been waiting for this. I'll be here all night. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Hug the far left wall. Wait, the far left wall? Like, here? That far left wall? Q Mission Impossible thing? Oh god damn it. But they could see us over here. Like, the angle's off. Ho! Um... Anything? No. Huh, maybe we're just being paranoid. A bit more up? Wait. Interact with the waterfall right at the center. Oh, never mind, you cleared it. I guess, do you detect anyone? Because of the moisture here, my sensors are not properly functioning. Hmm, I see. Well, let's split up. Um, okay. So, whoa! Oh, god damn it. Wait, not that one. Wait, Fuka's right there. Where the hell do you go? Um. Or did they? She forgave us. I bet you Fuka freaking like noticed us, but like she forgave us. Right, dude, get your ass over here. Maybe this spot will be safe. Should we hide here? Y yes! Yes, damn you! Now don't move a muscle. Stay right where you are and don't go anywhere. Pretend that you don't exist. Be the waterfall, or whatever ASMR crap is, or whatever, or some of that. I don't really care. Just wait for the text. Oh, there she is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yukari's gotta see us. There's no way any woman, um, would ever miss us. Like, for real. We're right here for crying out loud. Freeze. Everybody clap your hands. Oh my god, ultimate. What the hell are we doing here? What is this? Shut up! And why is the coffee always gone? Bastards. Anime fog. Oh god, I know, right? If it weren't for anime fog, we would have gotten our asses handed to us a long time ago. Find anything? No, nothing here. You're going to get sick if you continue this trade. Hey! Why is the disturbing music playing? There's nothing there. Sorry, it must have been my imagination. Okay, guys, the only way, the only way that we get caught now is if we out ourselves. So if you do get caught, it really truly is on you. Doesn't the water seem a little hot? I'm beginning to feel faint. 
<laughs> it appears that Yamagishi's ability is ineffective when she's without clothing. You're supposed to have ice abilities. Could you cool it off a little bit, Mitsuru, or, uh... Well, well, of course it is. To be honest, I am rather surprised by the difference between human bodies. I know, it's like we're not the same. Isn't that crazy? Or what? More specifically... What? Okay, that's enough, I guess. Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. What was she gonna say? Specifically, I guess, what were you talking about? Ice cream be quite useful. I require some cooling down. She's waterproof? Okay, they're gone. Whew, that was close. Oh wait, Tor, more specifically your cup size? Oh my god, what's your cup size? D, why? Because it stands for dragon, right? Oh my god. You never would have survived Mitsuru's execution. Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Looks like they passed out. <laughs> uh, we need to get these men uh, to a hospital right now and they need a shit ton of water. Well. I guess that's what they deserve. Well, especially goddamn uh, uh, Junpei for suggesting that we come here in the first place, but still, oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad we actually rebooted this and actually like saw this scene and everything for what it was. And actually, no, I'm very um, happy we got to see both of the um, scenes where we do get caught and also um, that, what we just witnessed, so yeah. School excursion. The last day. You'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train in the afternoon. You are free until then. P3P uh, version was remembers funny too. One time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Dude, you know what? What does it look like with the female protagonist? Like, are you supposed to go out and find the men? Or are you put into a situation where it's a girls only type of thing and the men show up and they're the ones who are looking around basically help the girls find the noise hmm wait really oh derek see that's why you gotta play um the female protagonists and these sorts of things and stuff so you can actually see what it is from that kind of perspective and stuff like for real it just makes the game that much more fun to replay um all that stuff but still yeah it's just text but i don't care p3p is fury dude you can let the boys go if I remember. Wait, really? Wait, do you get like the choice? Like, oh, what should we do, girls? Should we kill them and slice their head off? Or should we just like let them go? Oh, uh, well, uh, let's let them go. Okay. Then please. Is this the same text? Yeah, it is. Okay. P6 and C had stealth mode. Oh my god. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it really wasn't that bad. Uh, well. I guess it's mostly because of last night. Dude, Junpei, you passed out in a hot spring. You were dehydrated like crazy. Akiko's not impressed with you, dude. Like, not at all, dude. You know, in the hot spring? Yeah. Shh. Shut up. I know. Now keep your voice down. Right, the only way we get found out is if we out What's ourselves. On, so keep your trap shut. Uh, um, we're just having a, um, reflection meeting. Oh, yeah? What are you reflecting on? God damn it, she had to ask. Oh, my God. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. We were reflecting on how this asshole Ryoji just happened to insert himself in our group. Who are you again, man? Okay. Okay. I love Fuka's look there. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Just boys being boys, I guess. You know, you Narkami is the only one who has never escaped, um, who has ever escaped Mitsuru's execution because he mysteriously wrote down, tell me your measurements. You guys better take it to the grave. Dude, every one of the women loves you, Narukami, because he's like totally that guy or some of that, but still. He doesn't even have to say anything to the ladies, and they're like, Oh my god, I love you so much. You're just the new guy. Hello. Hey, Ken, what's up, buddy? Wow, that was fast. How was Kyoto? 
Ah oh, man, I'm so tired. It was a lot of fun. I brought you back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell them to you later. Oh, okay. I can't wait to hear them. Fuka's portrait. <laughs> Alex, I know, I know, it's so crazy. A few years later, the Phantom Thieves were beaten by their president in the same bath. Oh my god. I'm actually playing P4G right now while watching. Um, I need to fight the secret boss. Dude, ultimate, do it. Well, we can't go to Tartarus tonight, but let's go tomorrow night. You know we don't have anything to fight for anymore. I beg to differ, Junpei. I am fighting to make sure that the dark hour goes away permanently. I haven't played P5 Strikers, but I've seen the bass scene for it, and man, I hate it. Dude, it is not a true JRPG unless uh, the main uh, male protagonist is getting his ass handed to him for the women um, for misunderstanding in a uh, bath sequence. Kyoto's filled with many beautiful sights, but the place I liked the best was Kamagawa, especially at nighttime. The sunset was absolutely amazing, but I'll never forget it. Everyone's exhausted. There's no way we can go to Tartarus tonight. The school trip that was so much fun. We visited so many beautiful places, and I really enjoyed the hot spring. I bet you did. Which reminds me, um, we heard something when we were soaking. Um, oh, it was probably just some monkeys. Are you alright, Makoto-kun? You're, uh, sweating there, buddy. Uh, I don't need to talk to you anymore for like a week until you forget about that. What's the matter, Makoto-kun? You seem anxious when the girls are around. I speculate that you are concealing a serious matter from the girls. That's just your imagination, I guess. Even though you're an android and androids supposedly don't have imaginations, but you might be developing an imagination. You never know. Mitsuya freezes you guys and what tells all the users us, dude. Thought about that? Dude. I used to live in Kyoto, so I've been to most of the tourist attractions. I've never seen the sunset of the Kamigawa. I mean, it was so beautiful. I second that one, Yukari. Uh, you are beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful. Woof! Karamara is looking at you pleadingly. He wants to go for a walk? Dude, this dog wants to go for a walk every freaking night now. This is crazy awesome, but still. It's, uh, what, what? Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, Ken. I f that up, dude. Well, whatever, dude. Hey, let's freaking go! He's frogging around happily, uh, seems to pick something up. Attained a Tristo gem. Oh my god. How long is P5S? Um, Alex, I'd say that I beat it in about, I want to say 35 to 40 hours. That's usually, like, the good mark that you can put it at. I mean, if you do a lot of the extra stuff, it's gonna take you up to, like, 40, maybe even possibly, like, 45 hours or some of that, but you should be able to beat it in, like, 35-40. You just had to go back to the dorm with Koromar. It's not that long compared to P5. Right, right. Well, they also don't put in as many personas and there's no social links. So, um, that's some added, like, stuff that gets cut out, but I like my social links, though. But still, what will you do? Just go to bed. You're exhausted anyway. I tried playing Fire Emblem Three Hopes and it takes me forever to do one section of the level. Yeah, that's because it's Fire Emblem, and Fire Emblem can take forever if you're doing, um, side quests. Ooh, you know what? In Soul Hackers 2, I'm finding myself doing a shit ton of the side quests and stuff, and I've not progressed very far into the main story, like, at all. But the stuff that you do get from the side quests actually does really help, especially in the early games, so, yeah. It's really sad that P5 cuts that. I can understand why they would do it though, just because like if you are going to include social links, you have to like write a lot of stories and like a lot of different um, conversation decision trees, if you will. You can start meet serious social links today. Oh shit, let's go, dude. You overhear conversation. Uh, after the day off on Monday, we got a career experience starting on Tuesday. What the hell does that mean? Where they got you working? Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I got a construction job, and on Thursday and Friday, I'm at a gas station. That's just as bad as mine. I'll be picking up empty cans. Like, that's my career. Which tests have you guys failed? Um, I wish they went from Mass Effect route and used the data from your save. That would've been cool. That would've been really cool, actually. It's still... 
So, did everyone enjoy the school trip? Ugh, I didn't. I couldn't care less about shrines and temples. Miss Toriyumi, shrines and temples are beautiful. Well, career week starts Tuesday. Just think of it as another boring field trip for social studies. Going into the real world is pretty tough, but by the end of the week, you'll understand. Myself, I'm glad for the chance to relax. Does anyone have any fine memories from the trip that they'd like to share with the class? Come on now, don't hide your faces. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes, now you can stay awake. So my idea was to go to Guam for the school trip. But none of the other teachers agreed. In fact, they all had their own ideas too. Mr. Ikoda was stumped for Kyoto, as usual. Mr. Ono wanted to go into, um, northeast of Japan. I'm still unsure why. Um, Mr. Oinishi, um, suggested a spot, and Takenozuka, a son, wanted to ride the Maglev train. Yo, Retro! Just popping in again, Doug. Dude, let's freaking go. How's your night going, Retro? Dude, seriously, happy Saturday with this one. How's the weekend going so far? I thought I remember. I didn't think about it. I wonder what Joker's doing in the S Mass of P5S. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Mrs. Uh, Teriyuchi uh, didn't really care where we went as long as she could bring her husband. Ugh. God, she's so annoying. What we need is someone to take charge. The reason we go to Kyoto every year is because nobody ever takes control. Use data and listen to this nonsense. Your academics has increased. I listened to my teacher complain. I'm gonna be a better student because of it. Yeah! Ah. Uh, just studying and watching the stream? Let's go, dude. What are you studying, by the way? Um, and quick question, are you in uh, college by any chance and stuff? Like undergrad or grad school? I didn't think about it, um... Wait, go back to this town? Dude. He should be going back to this town. He was supposed to. Deciding on one's career seems to be a fascinating process. However, since I am designed primarily for battle, it is useless for me. You could say that again, I guess. That trip was a blast, man! Especially the hot springs! Oh shit, sorry. Was that supposed to be a secret, was it? This is how you get caught! Guys! This is how you get caught, you run your mouth! Shut up! But sharing secrets is fun too. I'm gonna stay far away from you, dude. Um, hey Yukari, what's up girl? We need to hang out with her or maybe probably try to make up with Bibi. Me too, it's in the same place as always. Dude, where's Bibi? I need to like make up with that guy. College, undergrad, associate's degree, um, holder, and bachelor's degree pursuer. Same project plus, um, interstitial, um, IT certification. Dude, that's great work, actually. Like, seriously. You're gonna have a really good time with all that and stuff, like, for real. But it's, like, really good careers is really what the prize was said. It's still... Shit. Um, you also got to do the faculty office. No, oh, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, YOLO, thank you so freaking much for, um... For the prompt and everything. We do need to go to the faculty office. You need to make up a lot of people. Dude, okay, so first things first, faculty office. Okay. It's the guy! It's the guy! Mr. Ono is in the faculty office. Ah, Makoto! I've been waiting for you. Okay. Maybe not really. I looked and looked, but there's nothing in my house that's not related to Masamune. This didn't belong to Masamune personally, but it still has ties to him, so... Hmm... Do you really need this? Maybe you've reconsidered? Not that I'm reluctant at all to give it to you, if you understand. So I'll give it to you, but... But... You'll take good care of it, right? It'll become a family heirloom. Right? Obtain Kanegetsu's, um, uh, helm. You must be proud, Makoto. You got a family heirloom now. Yeah, I guess the sound should be. Hmm. I'll still get a few of those left at home. This is the second time I've given my helm to a student, after all. That baby, though. Do you know him? He's an exchange student in my class. Back in the spring, when he first came here, he admired it so much that I let him have it. It does my heart good to see men with the samurai spirit, even though it's from a foreign country. 
must be because the lives of the Sengoku generals will shine brightly across history. Masamune Date, for example, the amazing thing about him is that he, uh... You enjoyed stories about Masamune again. If your knowledge of history is deepened, your academics has increased. You obtained a helm from Mr. Ono. Now we can report to Elizabeth finally. Oh no, you damn troublesome t dude! It took like three weeks for me to talk to him. Before we talk to Mitsuru, before we talk to her, let's go to Elizabeth and turn this in. I just want to get that out of the way and stuff. Oh, wait, Julian, you missed the Kyoto trip? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. If you watch the stream from the very beginning, you'll see some crazy shenanigans that we got into, and, uh... Well, let's just say it didn't end up well for me in the beginning, but we went back and reloaded, and it was fine. Wait a minute, go talk to this guy, too, because I want to make sure we have, like, the best weapons or whatever. Not that much, kid, but you should be able to find what you need. I did get some new things in, though. Take a look. I got 1.3 million yen in my person. You can take a sword that's taller than a man. Unknown effect. That'd be a shit ton of money, alright? Yeah, sure. Uh, would I like to equip this weapon? No. Um... This one. Famous for the slated dragon. Yeah, sure. Work, works for me. Wish I had to put no. Um, I think I already got one. No, I don't. I don't actually. That'd be a shit ton of money. Would you like to? No, actually, no. I do think I have that. I do think I have that actually. That'd be a shit ton of money. Do you want it? Uh, yeah, sure. No, uh, no, no, no. Don't equip that damn thing. Forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you escape the hot spring? I did. I did. It was freaking awesome, actually. Wait a minute. Kiss of Athena? I don't think I had that, actually. That'd be a shit ton of money. Would you like it? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, what about armor? Ergo armor. Cross dog suit? Wait, where's the freaking, um... Nah, I'll, I'll skip on those ones until we get a little bit more money, but still. Um, funny that the only time we can escape is when half your group is guilty. <laughs> uh, half my group nearly died in there because they like got dehydrated and um, were basically like belly up in the water and stuff. We had to like cart their asses to the room. Yo, Leonardo, what's going on, dude? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream tonight. How you doing in here, dude? Um, dude, yeah, that hot spring scene was something else, but still. All right, turn this in, Elizabeth. You seem to have completed your request. Just a moment while I check. Ah, I see. So this is it. The helm from the ancient Sengoku era. It's heft, it's feel, and the character love in the brow. Does that mean to protect the head, or was it love for the helm? Mysteries upon mysteries. Still, it is a wonderful helm. This satisfies my request. Why don't you take the helm with you? I think it suits you better than it does me. Please accept your reward. Obtained five bead chains. Oh my god! Dude, five bead chains will definitely help us out in the final fights of this game. I'm just saying, but still, like, get as much of these done as you can. Because investig investigation team Phantom Thieves uh, for IT, Yukiko was in the wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, what do we have open? It is 1121. I'd like an action figure of Phoenix Ranger Fedman R. I think it's honor to be in good mood on 1121. Who is that, by the way? Today is the day. We gotta do some stuff. Wait, wait a minute. This, um, this girl is over at the persimmon tree. We need to give her some of the drinks that we bought while on the Kyoto trip, so we're cool. Wait, Ken? Oh, Ken is the one. Okay, all right, so just we need to make sure we talk to Ken before, like, doing anything crazy, like, and ending the evening, so to speak. Okay. Go water the flowers. 
Could you bring them some more? We're... Hmm. I mean, I suppose we could do this. Maybe, but... Hmm. Space badge and berserker seal. Um... Let's do this one. Just to make sure we have something open with a deadline and stuff. Register your shit. Register your shit. Action figure. Miracle, feather, arrow. Why are we saying Ken? Uh, Alex, I was asking the question um, about uh, the Featherman figure and who actually would be in a good mood on this day and stuff. So um, if Ken is our guy, we just need to make sure we talk to him before we end the evening tonight so we don't miss it. But that's, that's why. Let's go, Featherman. Dude, dude, okay. So, um... Couple things have got to happen. We need to go over to the girl who is by the persimmon tree, turn in a drink with her, and then probably talk back to Elizabeth, turn that in, maybe get another request in and open, and see what's up. I love when Featherman comes up. You're going down, Merlion. Who the hell is Merlion? I should know this, but I don't. I wish I did, but still. Um... Hey, Dr. Evil, I'll make you a deal. You get the mojo, you keep your money, and I'll get your baby. No, stop, stop, stop. Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, all right, I right, got it. Fine, fine, baby. I'll get you eventually. Oh, hi. Whoops. We need to talk. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I hate it when it see both guys and girls they hate it whenever somebody says we need to talk I'm like uh dread I don't like leaving things hanging it seems the confrontation is unavoidable meanwhile at the high school rooftop you bastard I don't like doing this, but I need to know the truth. What's been going on with you lately? Uh, um... None of these work! What about you, Yuko? What have you been doing? Nothing. She wouldn't believe me. She wouldn't believe me if I said, like, any of these answers. Nothing? Lie- yep. Yeah. If, I, if I say nothing, you'd be a liar. If I said, oh, what's going on with you? I'd be an asshole. Is it better to be a liar or an asshole? the question of life. What should we be? Liars or assholes? I guess I was the only one who felt something. Sorry for asking such a weird question. Anyway, I can see now that we're just friends. Your social link is in jeopardy. Uh. Oh no. The link has been broken. There's a widening distance between you two. Congrats, you done goofed. Wait, really? Bad answer. Wait, is that like literally... What? Hi, how was your day? Pretty shit, Fuka, how was yours? Ryochi was just here. Came out with Junpei. Um, it's not often we get visitors here. Yeah, do you think it's okay? So when did we last save? I don't know, I don't know. I was actually surprised he was not with a girl. Hey, where's Igus? I saw her on the second floor. Really? You can't repair it now? You broke a social link, your strength or con personas will never level up again. It's worse than reversed? That is so stupid. Really? Maybe she's with Car Maru. Um, it's not like that to be gone. Hold that thought. Hold that. Hold that freaking thought. Hold on. Today is the 21st. What we do? Um, when did we save that out? The day before. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yes. Reload the save. That's such a weird answer. Like, I don't know what was going on with you this time out. None of those answers are good. Really? 
That's what you have to say to her? That's so strange. You know what we should do? We should just not talk to her for the rest of the game. Just because- Wait, did they break your social link? Like, if you don't talk to him for like... Like, 30 days or more or some of like that? Like, oh, you're just gonna ignore me for like a month. Well, I hate you. Go f*** yourself. And yes, we're never gonna like ever speak ever again. Cause that doesn't happen in real life, now does it? What did we do again? I think we went on with the dog, didn't we? Woof! Is looking at you pleadingly. He wants to go for a walk. Um, yeah, let's go with Ken. That's fine. It's the tone of asking that she's been doing okay. Oh my god. I always said the same thing, we're both bad this, honestly. I mean, like, like, uh, you know, we could be an asshole or a liar. I don't know what's going on with me. What's going on with you? Take that. Really? That's what you had to say to her? I don't know. Um, you have to revisit Ono and complete the request again? Hmm. Cora Morrow was doing the thing and, and, um, well, he's a dog and, uh, he seems to have gotten something. Are you tired? Uh, I don't know. It's too bad that you don't have social links with any of the guys in um, the C's group just because like, yeah, no, seriously, that'd be like a total, like, just, like, you, you get a couple more, like, stars or notes and stuff with the kid and stuff, like, for real. You could actually, like, use those things, but it's a missed opportunity in this game, in my opinion. I've never broken the social links, so I really know how to help here. Dude, apologize if I, um, cycle through some of those really quick because I've already seen it, but still. Kenji can be ignored for the entire game and only get reversed in the final day before the final boss. Really? Dude, Kenji's like one of the ones that you do like at the very beginning or some of that so you can get cert and just be way too overpowered in the mid mid game. No man, stay awake. We gotta, you know, talk to Ono-san when we get up to a uh, thing. I'm too paranoid with these answers. Dude, YOLO, I'm like, what do you do? What? How do you answer these questions? Hi, Yukari. We can only, like, still stay together as long as we're dating or something like that. Which is so weird in this game. Okay. Yeah, no, YOLO. I'd be so freaking paranoid about, like, actually talking to these people. Son of a bitch. The thing you don't want to... Terrence! Oh my god, what in the world is happening with this game? I should just avoid her at all costs and just like talk to Mitsu and just save the game. You know that many social links open and start besides Kenji, so you might as well. Right, it's weird. It's like he's, he's like the only one who's still like there at first. So you only have to work on him just a little bit, like the start, but still. Let's say you get Ryuji, um up in Social Link in the very beginning in Persona uh, 5. But still, like, on where you're Dude, you know what the most useful perk of all the Social Links was? It was those, like, instant kills in P5 where you still get the experience points. That made grinding in the game that much more easy. But still. Um, P3, making relationships have consequences since existence? Like, it's an added layer to the game and it, like, really just not only makes sense, but, like, yeah, no, for real. Don't worry too much about the strength social link if you focus on Emperor and Justice more if I were you. Mmm. So that's another thing too, is that we gotta work on hunting down Chihiro, but she's still reversed with us, so she she even is pissed off at this at this point. So I guess my mission is to really finish up with Yukari. And then like progress with all the other women, but still. Cooper the bath scene? Oh my god. Yeah, you did miss the bath scene. Shit! 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 Go back, go back. Just two in-game days? Why? What's going on in two game days? Oh, you completed a request. Oh, it's the helmet? Oh, it looks really good on you. Here's your bead chains. Uh, anything else? Yes, I want to make sure we can get that, what do you call it? Moon tablet thing, at least started. Deadline is eliminated. Um, register your shit. Register your shit. Shit! God damn it. Uh, yeah, do it. Okay. He missed two in-game days since we were uh, set twice. Dude. We need to figure out what the hell we're doing with this one, but still. Um. 
persimmon tree girl. Don't get distracted now. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Persimmon tree girl, and then talk to Mitsuru. Because Yuko will screw you up. I like fear that conversation. Because I don't like either of those answers. I want to know we have something we can reset a bit. But still. Meet you at social link time? Uh, before we do that, before we do that, we gotta go talk to Persimmon Tree Girl. And then Ken after that. Right, right, you gotta talk to Ken for the Featherman thing. Tree, meets her and Ken. Right, exactly. Uh, I'm avoiding that conversation. Here we go. Oh, that drink. Can I see it? Oh, is this the limited edition drink you can only get in Kyoto? Wow, impressive. I have to say, I love these rare drinks. Have you seen this one? Odin juice. It's only available in the fall. You want some? Well, I can't let you have it for free. I mean, let's say a shit ton of money. I was gonna give you a drink in exchange for your drink. Now you're asking for money too? Fine. What? You're really gonna pay me a shit ton of money for this? Wow, you must be a rare drink maniac. Thanks, though. Now I can get my own rare drink. Obtained Odin juice. Hey, maybe you can help me out with a fellow um, rare drink maniac. You think if we made those persimmons into a drink maniac all in the country would drink it? I don't know and I don't care. I'm out of here. Siegfried is a really good persona, too. Better focus on what you have for right now. Truth. $36 for a soda, but it's not just any soda. It's Odin juice. The main issue is the reverse link situations is 50 50, and the tone is ambiguous, break or unreversed. Dude, truly, I know. It's like. Like, there's no clear cut answer for those ones. You kind of have to flip a coin. If you screw up, you screw up bad. Honey Nut Chihiro is up here. All right, so if we have to repair things with her, just know that she's up here. Yuki, things have finally settled down a little bit. Since I'm a senior, I was thinking of assigning more tasks to the underclassmen in student council. I deserve some free time after all. Plus, let's show up to the meetings, of course. Wait! I've heard some rumors about you. You seem to be studying really hard. Impressive. I'm trying to stress yourself out. Because of your academic prowess, Mitsuru has seemed to have formed a new opinion of you. By the way, Yuki, this is completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Yeah. Great. Um, well... Can you come with me? I'd rather not talk about it here. It seems Mitsuru wants to go um, with uh, you to go with her somewhere. Okay. Okay. After all in school, it's kind of hard to hide those things. Meanwhile, at the ramen shop. Mitsuru, you are loaded with money and now we're going out to a ramen shop? I mean, that's, that's cool. I like it. I can dig it. Psst, Yuki. Mitsu's trying to get your attention. Repair Yuko and Chihiro. Dude, I should. Leonardo, I really should, for sure. Those two are definitely going to be very useful, especially when you max out their social links, for sure. But still. Please tell me that what the etiquette here is. Are there any customs I need to follow? Um, you need to make a shit ton of noise, like, come by! Add a lot of spice. Eat your food very quickly. Drink all the soup. Oh my god. I was gonna say in Japan, make sure that you slurp your noodles because slurping in Japan is actually seen as a compliment, especially in ramen shops. Um, I don't know. Um, drink all the soup. Uh, 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 all of it? Well, uh, I will do my best. Bon appetit. Let's eat. Mitsuru is enjoying her ramen. <laughs> what if you told her to make a shit ton of noise? Come by! Oh, no, oh my god, I'm not in the right place, Aaron. 
Hmm, the taste is quite interesting. I thought it tasted strange at first, but I continued to eat it, and I realized that I uh, had a subtle charm to it. It is quite delicious. Pardon me, chef. Oh, uh, uh, chef, you're talking to me. The ramen tastes absolutely wonderful. It has been a while since I last complimented the chef. What do you use for bullion? Bullion? Ah, what the hell is that? Anyways, if you want to know the recipe, sorry, I can't tell you, lady. Without our secret recipe, we'd be out of business. Well then, it's a secret. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me, though. Now, this would be considered a meal if one to eat were to eat it with rice. Yes? No, that is very interesting. Uh, no, that's that's not a... Uh, uh... Hmm. You know, you could probably make more money if you patented the recipe and sold it. Mitsuru is deep in thought. Oh my god. I heard that it's respectful for the chef to do a lot of noise. Right! YOLO! Exactly, exactly. No, it's actually respectful in Japan to do that in ramen shops. I got to do that too. It was so enjoyable, actually. Mitsuru just starts screaming execution. Execution! Oh my god. We're gonna play Danganronpa with Mitsuru. I'm sorry. My imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a very long time. Hmm. Does that make me strange? Yeah, totally. No. Oh. I don't, yeah, you know what? Oh. See, it's weird because, like, you can say this to her, but the way you say it to um, a woman could be taken as a joke and light and playful. Or it could be asshole territory. It really just depends on how you say it to her. Yeah, Mitsuru, that makes you totally weird. You live in Japan and you haven't tried ramen? Who are you? Hmm, I see. No social link for you, bitch. Um, I could have come here any time, but... I felt awkward coming alone. I'm so glad you're here with me. You taught me so much about ramen etiquette. Let's eat here again sometime. Your relationship has grown closer. We reversed before we even began! A mysterious voice rings in your head. Empress! Oh shit! Akiko's at this place all the time. I know- Dude, YOLO! I ship those two. I really do. I really do. They should end up together, but still. <laughs> Chihiro is mad, watch your bad. Oh my god, I, I know. You've established a new social link. Mitsuru seems to trust you. However, nothing changed between you two. Oh, look at the time. We should go. You decided to return back to the dorm. Oh my god. Hillary Duff? What are you playing on? A totally Hi, legit PS2. Day? A totally legit PS2. I won't hand her her to everyone. Ryojiko was just here. He came to hang out with Junpei-kun. It's not often we get visitors here. Yeah, uh, do you think it's okay? I'm actually surprised that he's not with a girl. Hey, um, where's I guess? I saw her in the second floor. Uh, uh really? Maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not like that to be gone. I'm Hillary Dove. Do you like my music? <laughs> Um, you know, Hillary, your music was good when it was out way back in the 2000s and stuff. I mean, I haven't heard very much of it lately and stuff, but, you know, I did like, um, oh shit, what was that show that you were in? Oh my god. Lizzie McGuire! I like that show. Dude, seriously, it was so hilarious. Oh my god. I like Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire was fun. You should do more of that, actually. I suppose you don't. Um... We do. Uh, save the game and save often. There you go. Um, why do I get the feeling the ramen shop in I Aikiko's uh, protein supplier? You know, Julian, that's a very good observation, actually. <laughs> but still, dude, no, seriously, you can get some really good stuff at uh, ramen shops. 
Was I not on the radio? I'm a Sue. Can I be in the reboot? I've decided. Dude. The saying earnest labor brings happiness is simply a pretext. However, there are some people like Yukari's father who put their whole lives into their work. At any rate, they will be in, in, this will be a great opportunity to learn about the workforce. Good luck. Hey Fuka, how's everybody feeling tonight? How can I help you? Everyone's okay today. Would you like to know more? Um, sure. Why not? Who is available? Alright, I guess, no, Mitsuru would have to be leveled up like crazy. So she'd be in the party. Junpei might be in the party. There's Ken, there's Kormaru. Okay. Are you gonna play portable? Yes, probably when it comes out um, eventually with this stuff, because um, I know they're going to be migrating it to a couple of different uh, platforms and stuff, so when we actually do get the migration, um, we'll make some time for it. And then we're going to play the female protagonist route with this one, too. Um, it said that Akiko became the protein guy. This game mentions protein once. <laughs> I know, it's like, how could you go through a game and like, mention it once and be the protein guy, but still. Uh, work. My dad did his very best. He was a hard worker, and he never complained. Well, then this is that, I guess, and this is this. I feel so bad for you, uh, Yukari. What? A Featherman R doll? Um, are you talking about Fe Phoenix Ranger Featherman R? Is that the price that comes with packs of gummy gum? Ah, I'm too old for that stuff. Why would you want one? You're an adult. Hmm. Um... Can, can, can I keep a secret? Oh. I had an extra postcard. I thought I might as well just send it in. And, um, I already have a duplicate of this one already. So, you can have it. But, please take care of it. Wow, though. I never knew you liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. If you want, maybe we can... Watch it together sometime. Obtain Featherman art. There you go. Okay. Yo, Ken, we might actually be able to work something out. Boring work, huh? Well, that's too bad. Quit complaining and do your damn job. I thought it was talking to Junpei. Wait, Junpei, what the hell, dude? Career experience, huh? Man, who thought of this crap? We need to experience how boring work is. Man, this school sucks. <laughs> I know, it's like we're not even getting paid for the work that we're doing. Retro, I'd probably be there all the time though. <laughs> Dude, seriously, you find a good ramen shop in your local area? I would frequent that place so many times, at least like once a week. If I could afford it, but still. Do you a protein junkie? <laughs> Uh, Kevin would like to hang out with Futaba. Dude, they should. They really should. Don't you play as a 16 year old? Uh, maybe. Ken's so cute. He is cute. I guess. What's up, girl? I can't stop thinking about Ryoji san. I'm worried I may overheat. I even asked Koromaru san for help. She can talk to the dog, by the way. Woof! Question mark? Koromaru tilted his head. Hmm, I see. Then I shall continue my observations. Is there any new footage or stuff? We gotta figure this one out too, so... Again, I think the old man was like recording us, but it never hurts to check these things every once in a while. What do we got to here, old man? It's a bank of councils. There seems to be a new recording. Who is recording us then? If it wasn't the old man, then who was it? What is this? 11-13-2009 at 1 a.m. Very late at night. It's Ken. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, is it the the Featherman thing or something like that? Is he like pretending to be like Fe Featherman or something like that? Oh no, he's he's just doing his moves. Come on, kids, say it. Persona. Eleven, I think. Maybe the recording equipment is the stuff he left behind. Oh my god, I know, right? It's a weird choice. Oh my god. Oh. 
This room is really too small to practice in. <sighs> is that a hamster? He's got a hamster up there. <sighs> Yo! Do you guys see that shit up in his desk, dude? He's got a little hamster guy. Ken, I didn't know you had a little hamster guy. That's crazy. But come to think of it, I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Guess not. I don't live on the first floor in this dorm, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. How thoughtful of you, kid. Huh. I chose a long weapon so I wouldn't lose to an adult's reach. But the longer the weapon, the better it is for taller people. Hmm. Ow! Wait, did you just hit yourself in the knee? Oh my god. You were such an adept fighter, Ken. What the hell happened? Ow! I hit my shin again. I hope I get taller soon. <laughs> You won't have that long to wait, Ken, trust me. You grow like a weed when you're like 13 or some of that. Oh. Is that milk? Whew. What is he drinking? Maybe I should drink more milk. He is drinking milk. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh. It hurts my stomach sometimes, though. Ken, are you lactose intolerant? Oh. Oh, man. He's drinking a lot of milk. Like, look at all that shit in his little coffee table. The recording ends here. Lactose intolerant Ken is? Yo, Julian! I know you want to, like, drink it to grow up, kid, and everything, but just let nature run its course, dude. There is no new recordings. Oh, my God. Rip your guts, Ken? Dude, like literally that would be doing a number in his guts. Like seriously, that is no joke and the pain is real. Um, just wait for P4 Ultimate, Arena Ultimax, he gets taller. Dude. Do you have to rank our social event? Mmm, I don't know. Um, only in dancing games you get to unlock hangout events in the dorms. After that you can explore. Oh, we're good. Wait. So, what do we do? We probably all should do, should do like an honest assessment of our social links too, to like come up with a strategy, because I think that this this game mentioned this career like week or something that we're doing, so I think that's also the game's way of saying, hey, guess what? You only have so much time to actually do stuff, so... Before we go to Tartarus, let's do an honest assessment of these things. Fuka's not pissed off at us, so she's right there. Um, the student council is at rank 6. We do have Mitsuru open now. Yukari is the one that we're actively working on. We should finish her off before we like do the others. Chihiro hates me. Um, music club guy doesn't hate me. Yuko definitely hates me. <laughs> Baby hates me. Wait, how many people hate me? One, two, three, four... Wait, no, three? Three! Three people hate me. Damn, dude. Um, we've not done this guy at all, but still, like, oh, yeah. Yo, we didn't actually go see the policeman for all those crazy things, but still. Eh, we can get away with it. Let's just go to Tartarus and see what we can do about maybe leveling up for about, I want to say, like, 45 minutes, maybe, or some of that, but still. Yeah, you need to do the missions to unlock the hangouts on P3 Dancing P5B. Oh, my word. What persona next play? I don't know. Um, Mitsuru, you are guaranteed to be in the party, so we need to level you up like crazy, so... Who else needs to be leveled up? Um, let's just do an assessment. Uh, what's everybody's status again? Yukari, no, we're fine. I guess maybe. I'm gonna say I guess and Junpei probably. Just because the dog is at level 54, so we should be okay there. Yeah. Um... So I guess in June pays what we're gonna actually go with, but still. Shit. Please take me with you. Well, of course. Milady. The remixes in P5D are kinda of disappointing though. That's because the music in P5 is already fire and does not need to be remake well, I mean, well, Strikers is kinda of cool too, but I like the original tracks, dude. Like seriously. That's just me, dude. <laughs> Deman and the toaster. Oh my god. 
Yukari Kanemitsu, in my opinion, is a very balanced team. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, that is a very balanced team. Okay, so where are we? We need to advance to the next mini boss. Let's see if we can actually get up to there or some of that and see if we can actually like take this guy for whatever he is. Now the last mini boss that we had really was not all that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was, but still. Um, it ended up being not that bad of a fight. And I'm like, okay, um, <laughs> if it really was supposed to be that easy, I can't think that every one of the other bosses is gonna be easy, but that one was easy. So the music in this game, the remix is except for one is so good. Dude. Three of them. Strike first. Wait a minute. Do we know what these things are? We don't. I'll scan the target. Curse dice. Really? Curse dice? I'll just try it. Imagine if the sleeping table came back. I would be livid. I'd be livid about that. I'd be like, hell no. What was the last boss? Um, it was, um... The enemy's weak against wind. It was the Hermit 1, I think. I think. Mass Destruction Remix is pain? Oh god, no. It's like, when you expect certain things in your remixes, you expect them to be really good, or at least passable, but that was not great. It was okay. It wasn't great. Ah, Phantom King. That one. That one. Phantom King. He wasn't even that hard. I love the Burn My Dread meets her mix. Ooh. Um, let's go for the money. Not that I need more of it, but I need more money. Wow, my persona has a new ability. <laughs> Don't say, Fuka. I can now bring you back to the entrance instantly. Really? However, I can only use this ability inside Tartarus. You can't use that outside of Tartarus? Who can now use escape route? Um. My level of aptitude has increased. How do we use escape route? Is that something that we like? How do we talk to her? Or is it like say you're in trouble? Your health is is very very low. We're just gonna bring you outside. I love Boof's uh, Fuka dances. I love Fuka. She's great, dude. Yes. What do you want? Uh, healing. Square. Oh, square. Oh, got it. Which order do you get? Ah, there you go. Ask Fuka for something. Is there anything you can do to help? That's so freaking cool, actually! What? What? You can change the background? I didn't even know that! That's so cool! What? How come I didn't know that? Fire, huh? You don't say. I wonder who actually has fire. Snow Queen, I think? Oh my god. Dude. I didn't know she could do that. That's cool, man. New Mayas? Oh, that's a thing. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Jesus Christ! 782 damage? You should one-shot everybody from here on out for the rest of the game. No holds barred. Dude, Junpei. Knock that guy next week. Jesus. You press L1 to automatically open the analysis menu? Oh shit, I should. I should, I've been collecting a lot of like things about this game that I should be paying attention to. Sorry. That's cool, man, that's cool. Wait, we gotta actually like try some of the other tracks too, but still. Oh my god. Wait, hold on, hold on. Go back! Fuka! I wanna also see what else we got coming up over here with this one. Who's the tracks that I have? Um, how about two? What's this one?
This one's very melancholy. And if you want to listen to something else, play them. This one's gonna make me too sad. But okay, we we know that this one's um, this one's a thing. Just in case. I mean, if we're like going towards like a final boss and we're like really sad to be like almost dying or some of that. That's that's Maya's theme. Wait, wait, this is from P2. Oh shit. That's a good one though. That's fun. I mean, sad is all shit, but still. What, what's what's this one? Oh, this one's crazy too. Damn. How come they don't actually name these tracks or something for for all of us and whatnot? Sick, huh? Dude, retro. What the hell is this? See, I like this one as well. I know I'm like cycling through him way too quick and everything, but I just want to like find one you can vibe to or some of that. Cool. There's only one track, I think, and they didn't name them in P3P. Hmm. Let's let this one go for a little while. It's a fun one, actually. You feel like you're going into battle carrying Thor's hammer? Hammer of the gods! Probably make it the thing for fans to go, oh, this is one of those ones I don't know this one. It's a fun one. I like this one. This is JRPG's music. Um, P2 next to remake. Dude, I don't want remakes. I want Persona 6. I don't want no remake. That's them wasting their time. The game is fine as is. I believe this is from Devil Summoner. Devil Summoner's got great freaking music, I'm just saying. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Fate seeker. What are you? I'm a fate seeker. Death bound. <laughs> Shit. Job. Thanks, Fuka. Um, can I go for experience points? Yeah. If you get a thousand experience points every time, that makes grinding that much better. Yeah, there's like no reason to go after this one. Just to think about it. I can't remember how Fuka is doing the background music. She's listening to her headphones and projecting the music with the telepathy. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Like considering her and her position and stuff. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Kill him! Kill him! Damn. That sucks. Oh no. Probably the point in the game where like we're way too strong for anything else. Really? That thing is weak against Pierce. Is there any meter and reset can do too? Dude. Dude. Um, grab the experience points. We're actually good with that. Well, um, God damn it. Oh, it actually worked out. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. My skill level has increased. Yeah, this one's cool. I like this track. This is a good one. Devil Summer's tracks? Oh shit, dude. Here we go, dude. Forget that one. Mitsuri uses the speakers on the bike. I can see that. Dude, where is her bike? Where is her bike? We haven't seen that bike in like forever. Oh, it's the goddamn tables. It's the goddamn tables. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we just got totally effed up, didn't we? Oh, goddammit. I wonder what that's gonna do. Is it gonna like actually do anything for us or no, not really? It reflects it. Oh shit. Um definitely not doing that shit. Um crap. Uh well uh <laughs> oh, jackasses. Arena shows that she has some level of celebrity to set your card. God damn it. Invoking Oracle! What? Oracle. It was a success. 
Thank goodness. <laughs> Providing assistance. What happened? They have Tetracarn active? Oh, because Tetracarn. Sorry, guys. I know we kind of like did the thing and like did it really bad, but I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. you know what this calls for? You know what this calls for? Go back. There's no one else. Is there anything I can do? How about these? These are traps I have. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you all. I'm such a son of a bitch and terrible person for a leader. I'm so sorry. My comrades have fallen. I'm the only one who's left. Life just sucks sometimes. I just kill everybody. Alright, 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 alright. If you guys aren't mad at me already, you definitely are now, but still. I know I'm a shitty leader, but still. Mitsuru, uh, could you do us the honor? What do you want? Uh, she yells a little bit. Fuka has an IT background, which isn't surprising. The speakers are probably amplifiers in his range so far. The song hypes up a good little bit. <laughs> oh, wait. This is satisfactory. Oh shit. And we got a beat out of that too. Oh damn, dude. I almost feel like. I almost feel bad. But I don't. Anyways. There you go. The enemies are getting stronger. Are you okay? Please don't push yourself too hard. We need to push a little bit harder because we got screwed up in that last encounter. There are three of them. Strike first. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. He's an angry table. Really? Great battle. Really? How? I haven't got Kali fused yet, so if anything, I'm very happy to just welcome Kali in here without him to actually work for her too much and stuff, so if anything, that's fine. We don't have to fuse her later. Okay. So, let's kill him! Get him! My scene is a sense of melancholy but a strong undercurrent hope. Dude, I could not agree anymore. I could not agree more. I can sense your determination. Really? What else can you sense? Because I'm thinking of something. No, stop, stop. Ah, shit. Okay. If anything, you could use him as fish food. Where's the next boss? Oh, I can barely sense a strong presence, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. Sorry, could you go up a little higher? Well, the pattern holds that it looks like every 10 floors is where we get another enemy or something like that. So we'll just have to see like where we end up with this or some of that, but still. Do we know who P3 Maya is without spoilers? <laughs> um, yes, we've already maxed out that social link and everything, so, um... Speaking of that, I think Addis is the Hanged Man Arcana, like, greatest persona in that one. We're gonna be able to fuse that eventually. There are two of them. The one from the game? Right, 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 the one from the game. It has multiple weaknesses. Oh, Mitsuru's got this. I'm just gonna freaking attack him and see what happens. Shit. Shit. I command thee! I summon thee! Persona! Just like I thought. Hey Mitsuru, you feeling good? Or what? Yeah, I can't wait for the final recording. Such oh, Lord. Initiating summon sequence. It must be eliminated. Hey Junpei, take one of them out. At least one. No, I see. Which teacher from school? Which school? Oh, I have no idea. 
next one should be material, no? Truth. Take it. My will is unfair. Take it. Um, I, I don't even know. I don't think it even really matters at this point. Really? You gave me that? Oh man. Wait a minute. I don't have that one yet. How about Decabria, actually? As much as I like Decabria, um, I don't really care. I just need to register some sh some shit in uh, with Elizabeth and see exactly what we can do with it. Um, is there anything over here? There is. Okay. Pesh cabs. Pesh cab. That's what the thing is called. Pesh cabs. Okay. Here in P4A. There are two of them. Attack! Her persona is a kinky ice whip. Dude, she knows what she's doing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She knows what she's doing. Soul Hackers 2, for all of you guys who've actually like owned the game, what are your thoughts on that one too? I'm not gonna like give spoilers or anything like that, but I played the first four hours of it and I was just like, this is, this is okay. This is okay. I wasn't like too over the moon about it. I mean, the battle sequences are fun. Don't get me wrong and everything, but still, I'm also just like, if it weren't for some of the, um, like, battle sequences and stuff, but also some of the DLC things in there, um, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. My skill level has increased. Which is weird to me, but still. My level of aptitude has increased. I want to enjoy more of the apple. I know, right? Like, like, for real. Dude, I want, it's like I really want to enjoy it, but I also found myself kind of, like, nodding off while I was playing it. As bad as that is to say and stuff, I'm like, why am I nodding off? I mean, I should not be wanting to play other games when I spent money on this thing. Like, for real. Most reviews are mixed on it. I mean, it sucks to say, but I'm like, I don't want to get bored of this or some of that, but I found myself nodding off to it a little bit last night. I'm like, and I can't be getting bored of this game. It's too early in the game for me to get bored of it. But still, I can't like them all. I mean, I want to like it a little bit more. It's just, um, I I'm still giving it a chance. I'm still giving it a chance, but don't pass judgment on the game until you've finished it. But I just, it's a bad spot for a game to be in when you're like, I kind of want to stop playing the game and play games that I know are better. Which sucks to say, but I'm like, oh god. Such a terrible position to be in if you're a game that's still... Like, let me put it to you this way. If I want to like stop playing the game and play any one of the Persona games instead... That's bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but... And again, with Atlas and stuff, they literally put themselves into a weird spot because, again, like, everything's now going to be compared to Persona. And if it doesn't measure up, it doesn't measure up. You gotta, like, manage your expectations for those games and stuff, and sometimes it's just hard. And it's still... Yeah, I haven't tried Persona 1 and didn't really enjoy it. I mean, I can see that, though. I tried Mad Bull or Moonstar on Plane to Stay Awake. Well, that's the thing, Julian. I just don't want to have to... Like, I don't want to have to drink an energy drink or coffee to just play a game. Like, the game has got to capture your imagination and engage you a little bit. A little bit? But it wasn't engaging me as much as I wanted it to, which kind of sucks, but... You know, what can you do? 
I'm now up to level 63. This is crazy up in here. Hmm. My skill level has increased. Wait, uh, uh, didn't you just level up like two seconds ago? Mitsur, what, what rank are you now? 53, okay. All right, so she is getting caught up with the rest of the people, but still, P1 is kind of rough. And that's why I hear from like so many people too, is that P1 is like really rough. And it didn't age very well. This game is an example of a game that ages well. Because I can still play it and be very engaged in the story as it's going. And this game literally came out in 2006. So yeah, it shows you how it really like stands the test of time and everything. Which is crazy, but still. P1 is really love or hate simply because it's so old school. And no, Julian, I'm an old school gamer myself and whatnot. I have the patience for a lot of these things. But if I don't have the patience to like go through a lot of the motions and stuff, um, even nowadays, that's bad. That's really bad, actually. And I will sit through so many like customizations like the Final Fantasy stuff, but still. Personally, I love P1, it keeps me on my toes despite how slow I can feel at times. But I mean, I still like those relaxing games every once in a while. I mean, that's just me though. I mean, me personally, I like those relaxing games just because like, you can literally just like, chill with like a good tea or something like that and just read it like a book or something um, during your spare time. P1 needs a remake? Why? Why? I mean, I would even just say that it has its place in history, and it's cool where it is. And we just need to work on P6. That's my thing. Don't give me remix. Give me P or Sona 6. But still, no. A lot of people that came from P5 and 4 complains about 3. Why? 3 is awesome, dude. That's my thing, too, is like, really, like, a lot of people who have not played this game, well, I don't know, like, people who... People who played 5 would love this game, actually. I think. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm also, like, too biased on Persona games and stuff now these days, because I'm like, I figure you guys, of all people, the P5 crowd would love this game, I would think. If anything, it's a lot more dark than P5 is, which, like, fills in that gap. Like, if you... If you wanted a darker title, you can get it with this one. Shit. You gotta get, like, really close to that guy. Well, we'll skip it. We'll skip it. We got a, um... A staircase somewhere around here or some of that, but still. We'll skip that battle, but it just looks a little weird. Most complain about the lack of party and control. Oh. Oh, I can, I can, I can see where where the complaints are like coming from now. I mean, because that was a little bit annoying for me at first, but like when you really get down to it, it's not as bad as you might think. Well, that's just me. I mean, I'm gonna try a couple of these things and stuff and see exactly how this guy does. He's supposed to have like crazy strong attack power, so we'll see how Raphael does. Just out of curio- Shit! God damn it. Should use Thor. But still. Uh, party control, I mean. It just needs support, like, on the P2 duology and some quality life, but that's about it. Hmm. That's another thing, too, is you can still, like, publish these games as they are. And a lot of us would just pay full price for them and just, like, eat it up and stuff. Like, for real, I would. That's just me. They don't need remakes, uh, any tend to modernize it would ruin too much of what makes them good. Well, that's the thing too, Julian. I agree, just because, like, again, call me an older gamer or something like that, but there's some charm into the way that this game plays and everything, and if you try to modernize it, it just might not necessarily go over very well. And again, it's another thing too with a lot of these games, these older games, is that your imagination actually runs a lot more wild than it does with a lot of the newer titles and newer modern type of graphics and stuff. L like, for instance, um, a game doesn't need to have all the crazy AAA game graphics that they do in order to capture my imagination to make me feel something for the characters and what they go through with all their journeys and stuff. I mean, even these types of things where you see their portrait and just their text and occasionally get some of their um, VAs reading off, you know, some of their uh, script and stuff. 
but you can still feel for these people and like the stuff that they go through, but I do like the imaginative part about these types of older games. But that's just me. Less player-friendly uh, social link system. You know, YOLO, that's true, too. <laughs> but it's much more realistic to what real life is, though. I mean, I can't say that women wouldn't get pissed off at me if I cancel plans, but it's like, they would. I can't pinpoint its location, but can you go up a little higher? Is, is it up on floor 200? I don't know. Obtained Disrage. Which rage? Disrage. The beat drop is so perfect. Oh yeah, I know, right? To me, it would remaster this game, not remake. I love the game with all my heart. Dude, this game could use the remaster and stuff, I'm, I'm sure, just because, like, even with a lot of its dated parts and stuff, it's still, like, wonderful just by itself and stuff, so... I don't know. I sent something powerful, but it might, need, might take t some time before I can determine where it is. Please be careful. Fuka, you're usually pretty good about this sort of stuff. Unless we're just out in nowhere, I guess. Who knows? We're gonna go find out. Uh... Well, there you go. Here we go. Get him! P3P or P3FES are a new combination. I can see that. I can see that for sure. Well, I like the best of both worlds if you can manage it. Like, you can, like, get that on this game and everything? Dude, you had such a great time with this. Good job! <laughs> Julian, the answer is yes. Wait a minute. I don't have that persona. I don't have this one yet. Lux, see me? Um... No, she'd be really useful because of the whole Empress Arcana and stuff. Oh, we can get rid of this guy. Yeesh. Good. No, and we can actually keep her for the Empress type of thing when we uh, meet with Mitsuru, actually. Dude, that'd be so that'd be so awesome, actually. Okay, keep her. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Get off! Oh, shit. Daring Gigas. Um... What if we just did this and tried it out? Fire! Oh, that actually did a very big number on his damage. Meets her and does that mind charge now. This is pretty damn cool, actually. It's weak against Garu skills. Really? Initiating summon sequence. Okay. The enemy is still alive. Are you gonna remake a P3? Um, look at how many disdainfully. Wait, the other one died? Oh shit. Kill him then. There isn't a combined button. Yes. Damn. That did not give me as much experience points as I thought it would. My skill level has increased. My level of aptitude has increased. Ta -da -da -da! I'm the man! Junpei. Dude, everybody leveled up after that one. That is crazy. Uh, Fuka, can we get Jotun of Blood, uh, an analysis, please? Thank you. Hopefully. It's too regular to attack. This guy's gonna be freaking defensive like crazy. That didn't give me what he wanted. I know, right? The enemy's weak against darkness. Darkness? Oh, he has Deathbound? Oh, shit. He's gonna be very annoying. Let me tell you, this guy's gonna be really annoying. Oh. Wait, yeah, you can do that all day, but still. Whole party level up? I know, right? Dude, we actually, like, got some good shit out of it. For real? 
I know. Junpei to smack the shit out of this guy. We're gonna absolutely love to play this and see by using the FPS battle system, but in 3 we get all the basics of 4 and 5 half. Dude. Why 200 experience points? What the hell is that shit? Alright, fine. Obtained a bead. <laughs> really? Um, okay. Where's the stairs? We need to go to the stairs before death uh, finds me. It's, def it's definitely gonna find me down there. Um... It's either to the right or left. Well, okay, all right. There's one of those pink ones. All right. Get up! There are two strong enemies. Attack! Ragnarok. I will see your leotard, and I will raise you a Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. What? Oh, oh shit. Dude! Actually, that works. That works for me, actually. Dude, what are the things that I will say was a little bit disappointing? Um, Maybe it's because I haven't played Soul Hackers 1 yet or some of that, but the press turn system is not available in Soul Hackers 2. Which I don't know if like is available in Soul Hackers 1 or some of that, but I kind of like those things to be available in, um, what do you call it, Soul Hackers 2. I really wish they did have it, because that'd be kind of cool if they did, but still. b 3 also loses the answer portion of the game. Oh my god. That's the thing too, I'd be really looking forward to that type of thing or some of that, but still. That's why we're playing this version, for crying out loud. 25-25? Kai one is leveled up. Oh my god. So this is the shit part about this stuff, like, for real. I can't change... No matter what I use for the directional pad buttons, I can't, like, change the move. So you have to... forget that move all the time, but still. I think Swacker's one is either. Okay, so they're they're being true to the Soul Hackers brand, which is really good, but still. This is not good. Um we can fix that. We can fix it actually. I have plenty of these precious eggs. Mitsuru, your precious egg. What do you want? Um heal. How many answers a pain to go through? Oh, is it really that much of a pain to go through? <laughs> Well, I mean, for better or worse, I wanted to play through it and get that experience of like seeing what it was for what it was and just kind of like, just know what to expect with it. I didn't know the press, um, press turn system wasn't a thing in Soul Hackers. That's so interesting that it's not. Huh. Like, you need all the energy for Egg? Do it. Just blow him up, dude. Cert is way too overpowered at this point again. Wait, is that one? Oh, I don't have that one. That shit. I'm gonna lose all of it. Oh, we got it anyway. Okay. Hanged. I'm gonna get rid of this one just because, like, we didn't even use this one that much anymore. You've dismissed this one, and welcomes the one with a thousand arms. Enemies have evade skills for their weakness, making you miss half of your attacks? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Alright, there is an actual briefcase that's up there, so... Just be cognizant of that. Here we go. The answer is grindy, but the story is fantastic. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to go through that experience, just to, like, get that experience. Shit. Hey, Makoto, could you take care of two of the three of these crazies? It's auto hard mode? It's auto hard mode? Oh my god. This means they're going to, we got to work it out for us for that one, don't we? No compendium? No compendium? What kind of monsters are you? The story is really interesting. Dude. No companion? 
How do you do that? The story is really interesting. Wow, there's a lot of debate around it. Hmm. See, I need to see exactly what it's all about, or like what the hype is all about, just to see like why people don't like it, why people do like it, and like what the best parts of it are. Huh? You had to make maybe closer than I thought. Let me double check. <laughs> is it in floor 200, Fuka? Because it's the pattern. Yeah, the answer is instantly on hard mode, and the compendium is gone. Damn, dude. It's a lot. Wait a minute. Oh, we still got like 8,000 experience points to go before we level up to 64 at Bitstone. The rest of the team's gotta be getting up there, I would think. Hey, Mitsuru, what, what level is she at? I like the answer, it's supposed to be dis divisive. Mm. 54. Okay. Is there anything else? No. I am good. Um, I like the answer, but it's definitely decisive, divisive. Dude. We need to see more. We need to see more for sure. Yeah, Alex, we're gonna play through. Um, we're gonna play through the answers. When we finish up this one for sure. Shit. Electric tanks get blocks with stone. I don't really care. I guess that's this. Why is it so much harder and lever than the party? That's because I'm a freaking boss. Damn right. One more to go. Gigantic fist. Couldn't finish it up. Not God's hand. Oh, bastard. I let How dare down. you. Fire. I think most complaints are it's hard, grindy, and certain characters act in a way people don't agree with, but it's arguably fairly realistic. Is it like a story thing where hmm. my skill level has increased? Is it like a story thing where players start to do things that just don't make sense? Because I can definitely see that too. Where it's like, this is something their character definitely wouldn't do at this point in the game, but hmm. Or in the story, I'd actually say I like the answer version of Mass Destruction better. Really? Oh man, now I'm even more excited to actually play it myself. I found it. 201st floor, not the 200th floor, the 201st floor, so we can add insult to injury a little bit. It's still far away, but please be careful. Thanks, Fuka. Thanks a lot, girl. Well, I mean, it's not her fault, I guess, but fine. Ooh, briefcase. Dear man, if I had to crush your fist. Hey, Aki, we don't have to pay for your weapon anymore. Currently dying in P1, pray for me. Wait, you're playing P1 right now? Oh shit. Good luck. Have fun. Kill people. Not really. It's still. Not to play the characters, really just like Yukari and the answer. Mm. Yukari? Why Yukari? What the hell happened to Yukari? You're unworthy of my time. Mitsuru, tell me more about how I'm unworthy of your time. Stop. Hey, there you go. 2,000 experience points. 2,000. My level of aptitude has increased. Da -da -da -da! Junpei is leveled up. Junpei? How low is Junpei at? He's got to be like freaking 57 or something like that right now, but still. Let's get these monsters to turn around. We step there. You'll fall by my hand. Works. Let us commence with an all out fatal strike. Damn. Oh my god. Executed. Just keeping experience points it makes the grind that much better or easier. Shit. Oh. Certs luck went up by four? Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I had no problems with Yukari in the answer. I was actually on her side. 
There's a strong presence on the 200 first floor. Please be careful. Hmm. We have a couple floors left to go, which is not too bad, but still. Get him! There are two of them! Attack! Bastard! Palladian. I just defeated an enemy. Man, Last one. Don't watch me edge. Any answer on the red butterfly side? Dude. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get Any AI yeah, was still pain. Oh my god. Who's the man? I guess you're Yukari. Oh, Yukari. Obviously. Yukari's freaking awesome. Oh my god, dude. That one knows what she's doing. Mana Cass. Or Case. Castle. Mm. What's up here? I just want to get to that, like, checkpoint. How are you feeling? Please don't push yourself too hard. Uh, we're working on it, Fuka. We are working on it. Hey, this guy's going into a corner. Let's kill him. There are three of them. Strike first. Oh. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Damn. Good job. Thank you. Shuffle time. Uh, shit. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, rocking it. Obtained a shit ton of money. I will take it. 84,000 yen is not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. Um. Don't die now. Kill him! I've seen this battle before. Strike first. Uh, just, just do this. Kill him! Last one. Got the hand press level creep in this dungeon is a lot. Oh my god. That's a lot. The enemy's down. Let's finish this. I'm stuck in the uh Sebeck building. Sweet. You're unworthy of my time. Okay. Let's get that experience point thing. Dude, 1818 is pretty damn good, actually. All right, just get up to the next floor. We've got to floor 200, but we need to get to the 2000, uh, 201st floor. Where is that staircase? Died three times so far, I want to cry. Did you get the main outfits? No, I didn't. I have still work on that for sure, just because like they're definitely like part of this game for sure, but still you just make it happen. Imagine if Fuka Fierce Bit Nocturne is one of her background Dude, that'd be freaking dope, dude. Oh my god. I would love that. That'd be so freaking cool, dude. Dude, no man. Oh my god. I can also play replay Nocturne and just like go through a lot of those fights because holy crap, dude. Those fights were something else, man. Shit. It took a long time to actually connect, didn't it? I think this is unpopular, but Nocturne doesn't look fun. I haven't played it. Uh, Alex, if you're not like an older gamer, you might not necessarily enjoy it. My skill level has increased. The reason why I say that is because like, um, a lot of those fights are very like old school JRPG fights, and if you're not like prepared for how dated the battle system is and everything, um, it probably wouldn't be so fun for you. Just saying, but still. God damn it! Run! Run! God damn it! Run! Wait, Doug hunting Shadow? No, dude, Leonardo, Shadow hunting Doug. <laughs> They're hunting me, I'm not hunting them, I assure you. I sense three shadows in the middle. Just be careful. 
Where is the elevator? The device is similar to the one in the entrance. I'm a real casual when it comes to the old NSMT franchise. Well, that's another thing too, is that I play a lot of these games casually on this side too, and it's like one of those things as well where, um, you can really do a lot of these ones just on a weekend where you have nothing else to do and you just want to like put it up with like a good book or something like that and you can just go to town with it, but still. I'm one of those people that say play real Shin Megami Tensei game, don't worry. <laughs> Well, that's another thing, too, is that I, like, look at all these ones as their own separate games, to be sure, too. But you don't want to be, like, one of those people who's just like, Oh, that's not a real Shin Megami Tensei game. It's just stupid. No. No. There's entrances to the entire, like, franchise in several different um, spots. And if Catherine was one of those entrances, like, like it was with me, I welcome all of that for everybody. Like, for real. Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Dude, 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 let's go. Ah, oh, I see you brought the three moon tablets as requested. You'll gradually encounter stronger shadows as you ascend arteries. The floors that you'll be exploring next are populated with very strong monsters. Please keep this in mind. Please accept your reward. Obtained a space badge. You seem to have completed another request. Give me a moment to check. This Odin juice looks like an ordinary can of juice, but inside, it's still warm. The sensation on my tongue must be one of the ingredients in Odin. It feels like... eggs? Very mysterious. Technology is advancing at a rapid pace, I see. I'll savor the taste of this juice later. Please accept your reward. Obtained Gale Magatama. Does it have three uh, H characters, or is it just up to Faiths? Dude. I had to marry uh, Tharja when I played Awakening. Dude, dude. Do you seem to have completed yet another request? Give me a moment to check. A Phoenix Ranger Feather and Eye action figure? May I see it? Oh, interesting. You can put it in various poses and play with it. Oh, it's flexible enough to be put in this kind of pose? On oh, this pose too? Oh. Oh my. Huh. This may be a bit too anatomically correct for me. You may have it back. Please accept your reward. That is three, not one, not two, three requests all knocked out in one session. We need to register our shit first. And then we need to get more requests on the docket so we can blow right through these things. Um, forget those. Um, what are the other time-sensitive ones? Can we actually like pull those off? I don't know if we can. Um, oh, you need to go back to floors 180 through 190. Um, I was supposed to be can sign up for it maybe, but still, do that one and do the old document one. We might need to get one of the other ones up top, but still. What about that shell of man? That's so weird. Yeah, I'll think about it. What about... What about watering the flowers? Yeah, what, what's all that about? When I visited Gekkokan High School, I saw a neglected patch of flowers. Could you bring them some water? Okay. All right, so we got that one um, on lockdown. You get it to school? I want to play some Digimon Survive. The recent ones were like really good. Dude, it actually looked looked really good when I saw it, like from what I saw with it and everything. But still, I need just need to like make time for a lot more of these games. But I unfortunately, I don't have the time. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we have access to? Anything that we haven't like gotten just yet? Or we're level sixty three, so a lot of things should be possible now. But we we'll just have to see see what we actually have access to but looks like a lot of this stuff is stuff we already have I know we can actually get air or Uriel Hellbiker oh shit dude we can actually get Hellbiker what dude just buy sir back like uh wait this one yeah I'm not married to her I just buy her back too 
I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Hellbiker, baby. Fire boost and fire amp. Oh my god, dude. What? And he's got Ragnarok too? Wait, he gets Ragnarok from Sir. Oh shit. Dude, this guy's gonna be way too crazy. It's too bad his magic is not like it's through the roof like Sir's is. I'll still end up using Sir because he's better with magic. Because, like, look at this shit. 67 magic? That's insane at this point in the game. Coupled with fire boost and fire amp, and dude, he's a freaking fire god. I kind of like Hellbiker, though. Hmm? <laughs> this corresponding thing. It will receive extraordinary power. Would you like to do the thing? Yes. Hell freaking yes. Just do it, Ghost Rider. Dude. We get to pass Ragnarok onto this guy. I'm Hellbiker. I'll give you a ride to the far side of hell. The girl of the shrine infuses him with power. That's why the girl of the shrine was this guy's, like, arcana, too. Like, what? Oh, it's amazing, actually. Like, what? Dude, the best part is that he doesn't have any of this other crap that has to, like, go through or some of that. That's my Iron Man persona. <laughs> yeah, where's Iron Man Persona? Where's Hell? Um, where's Captain America? I need that guy or some of that. Absorb fire? Mm. Oh yeah. Persona Hell Bikers emerged from the sea of your soul. I want Spider-Man. I know, dude. Where is that guy Jameson and stuff? That guy's like literally the funniest guy in the entire um, franchise and stuff. Which is why Tobey Maguire is still my Spider-Man, damn it. Like, all we're done. No, that guy's my Spider-Man. You wanna know why? Who is he? He's a criminal, that's who he is. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jameson, your wife is on line two. He looks at the receiver and puts the damn down and stuff like that. I told him not to order the caviar or some of it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> That guy was way too funny in those game in those um movies and stuff, like for real. We did not deserve him when we were um like actually seeing a lot of that stuff, but still like oh my god. This brings back the best memories, like watching those movies, but still. Dude, did you guys see the like latest Spider-Man movie? That thing was so freaking fire, dude. Oh my god, I loved it. Are there the PS4 version of JJJ? Dude. Um I want my cert back. Ah, oh, shit, he's a shit ton of money. I'll just get him anyway. Like, that guy destroys everybody with fire. Like, literally destroys everybody. In this game, you can pass on an A skill? That's the best part. Like, a freaking Hellbiker with Ragnarok? Who knew? No Way Home is awesome. Dude, it was so good, dude. Oh my god, god. We didn't deserve all the wonderful histories that we got with the Spider-Man movies, but we got it. That just goes to show, like, how, um, how well everything was done, too. But, still. Alright, where are we at? 57, that's the new benchmark. Mitsuri's at 56, Junpei's at 57. Alright, I want the dog. Ken and Yukari. Spider-Man 2, the game is coming out soon. Dude. Of the dog, Ken, and Yukari. Your party's already full. Who should I change it with? Uh, I guess. I'll do my best. Right. Yukari, what's up, girl? Um, at a party. Party's already full. Let's switch with, um, Mitsuru. Sure. Um, the dog. Woof. At a party, and we're gonna get Junpei out of there. There you go. Alright, so... Wait a minute, before I save the game, I know that I got a new weapon for the dog. And I think I got a new weapon for Ken, too. You just need to make sure you can actually, like, equip these things before we get that stuff going. Right, here. Any, any little advantage that you can take in this game, take it. Um, Yukari, do you have your best weapons? Let's just check that stuff before you walk into any mini-boss fights. That's, that's fine with you. Okay. Um, Spider-Man 2 coming out next year if no delays happen? 
<laughs> yeah, no, for real, dude, seriously. Um, I'm not a fan of Marvel. Oh, Leonardo, are you a DC man or what? I changed my equipment. I don't need this bullshit anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. I waited to throw my gift to you back in my face. You little bastard. Uh, all right, now save the game. Wait a minute. Um, Aki, did we give you your best gloves? I don't think we did. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I changed my equipment. Crush your fist. There you go. DC Forever. Oh my god, let's go. Hey, what was one of the latest DC movies I saw? The Batman. Dude, Leonardo, did you watch um, the Robert uh, Pattinson version of uh, Batman stuff? What did you think of that movie? I actually really like that. I like the fact that they came into Batman's lore and stuff in like the middle instead of like the origin story that everybody gets for like that first movie, let's say. But he was already like established in that universe too and they made him more like a detective in this one instead of like a brawler like they did in the Christian Bale era. Not that there was anything wrong with that, but I like that they brought that whole detective side out of Batman again and kind of went back to it. But what did you think of that movie and did you actually get to see it? But still, Insomniac is making a Wolverine game suit. Oh shit, that's going to be fire, dude. Oh my god. I actually got a concussion literally 10 minutes after the Batman. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh god, no. Wait, it was that kind of movie, huh? Damn. Sorry to hear about that, but still. I liked it, though. I liked it. All right, do we have what it takes to actually go through this? You can win. I believe in you. This one's dangerous. Stay focused. Sounds good, Fuka. The Batman is one of my favorite movies. Really? Oh, you liked it? Oh, let's go. See, I liked it too. Like for real, there's a lot of really good stuff in it to like for sure. Give me a yeah, I just like I'll the fact the that they like they did a different angle of Batman instead of just doing the same old tired thing all the time. So, I mean, I personally liked it, but that was just me. Heavy strike damage, all You know what? Um, before we do that, let's, let's probe with fire. Let's try this. Hmm. We missed it. I blacked out in fear and my head um hit the t oh no, TB. Sorry to hear about that. So it wasn't caused by the movie, but did you have like something going on and stuff to where you just blacked out or something? I'm sorry. Man. What a way to like get into the movies and stuff is to have that happen to you. <laughs> Sorry to hear about that, dude. Like, for real. Alright, let's see this. this oh, cool. I think we can win this. I think we can win this. This isn't gonna be as bad as I thought, but. We need to get the rest of the party back, but still. Let's do this really quick. You probably can go one more round without getting poisoned or some of that, but it seems like you're just basically like... You're just fighting like a battle like this instead, like, against, um, status effects. Because they're not, like, hurting me or anything like that, but still. They're just, like, minorly inconvenienced or some of that, but still. Oh, wow. Okay, so they do... they do hurt you. You said to hurt them before they hurt you. The dog. It's a dog, the angel. Who's the one that causes charm? <laughs> Which is the one that causes charm? No, just do this. Help, biker. I should switch to sir, but still. Oh, god damn it. Oh, wow. God damn it. I hope P6 makes you get a six main character as well and can be you. Hmm. We'll have to check that out at some point. That's a good idea. We just to make sure we can actually see if that can actually be realized. I 
think they know that they're basically almost done, though. That's another thing, too. Like, I think these guys know that these guys are, like, almost done. I'm just there to support. But let's bring our kid back. Do this instead. P6 predictions? Well... I don't know if I can necessarily give a prediction at this point. Because personally, I think... God damn it. God damn it, that's a lot. Um... We should just bring in Sir just because and stuff like right from the beginning or whatever. That guy's gonna have way too much more like magic power than the other ones and stuff, so if anything we should just use this. I just played this Platoon 3 demo for the event for like six hours straight. Courtney, let's freaking go! Oh my god. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Like oh my god, let's go. It's gotta be so freaking fun and everything. Like oh my god, it looks great and everything. Like seriously. But how's it going with you, and Courtney? How's your weekend going so far? Oh my god, great to see you up in here. Um, this is usual four. I don't know, something that come up with playing P1 and have three people in party at all times. How was it? The battle's over. That's what I'm saying. Like, as soon as you get cert on the case and stuff, if he starts, like, going off, like, all the fire abilities he's got and stuff, he just totally, like, destroys everybody. Not my problem, it's dumb. The event was rock, uh, paper, scissors, and I chose Team Rock. Dude, let's go. Always choose rock. Always choose rock. Paper? No. Scissors? Well, maybe in some days. Rock. Rock is always the best one. Always the best choice. But still, oh my god, Courtney, that's amazing. Oh my god. So yeah, you enjoyed yourself and stuff? Like, oh my god, dude, tell me about it. You car, you can. I can't believe you got killed with this fight. It wasn't that bad. It was just a lot of status effects and crap. All right, we need to get these uh, two back on their feet. Let's go, let's go, come on. Okay. Yukari, let's get some heals around. I'll have to ask Ken to actually heal up everybody after the fact that Stone. There you go. Right. Okay, obtained a precious egg. <laughs> All right, now that we've actually defeated this said mini boss, let's go back to the beginning, the first floor and see what we can do about um, saving the game and getting that done and under wraps. Well, they added a way for uh, three teams to face off against each other, so that was cool. Oh, nice, let's go. Um, revive just one? Um, oh. well, I can always buy more revival beads or something like that. They're not that expensive, and I pretty much have a million yen at this point, so I'm not really too worried. I always love how it's a platoon. Um, it looks visually, the colors really pop. Dude, there's a reason for that, for sure. No, like, for real, like, a lot of the stuff that they do with a lot of these games, like, graphically speaking, has been blowing my mind as of late and stuff, so... Yeah, lots to look forward to, for sure. But still, you know, actually, let's call it a day with the Tartarus run, actually. Realistically, I should come back here and just grind the crap out of all the characters until they max out their levels, but... I think we're in a pretty good spot, realistically. Everybody's pretty much where they need to be, so... I heard Tartarus is over. Time to return? <laughs> uh, yes, Tor. We're going over to 1122. That's Sunday. There's no school today. So... Do we commit to somebody on Sunday? I don't even know if we ever did. That's weird. See, I would have thought that we would actually somebody like somebody would have asked us to hang out, but I guess it's not a thing or something like that for this particular Sunday. Okay, so how do we want to actually do this? I guess it's just going to town or something. We got a couple of social links that we could work on potentially, but okay. Interestingly enough, I think we do have a couple ones that we could possibly look into, but. What about that one athlete guy? We still need to like actually work on him. Cause he still is a thing, I suppose, so might as well actually just try something. Wait, is he not there? Aw oh, shit. Really? My man! Aren't you there, dude? Oh well. 
Is there anything in Port Island Station that we haven't actually like looked at just yet? I forget. Maybe we should start like looking around or some of that. Just see what's up. Vending machine, would you like to buy something? Starbix. Yeah. Everybody always needs a good cup of Starbix or some of that, because that is way too delicious. Um a drink. Aquafina! Wait. If we need to like water plants at school, would Aquafina actually help? I don't know. What about this florist? Welcome to Varathasia. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Um How about all of this? It'd be a shit ton of money, sure. Thank you very much. We need to buy flowers for our women. Just cause that is apparently the thing this game. You should be buying flowers for your girl anyway, dude. Like, for real. It's dumb. A mini cactus? Oh god, no. Glass vase. Uh, yeah. That, uh, there's the lost girl by the vending machine? Wait, really? Oh shit, really? This one? Uh, uh, uh. Wait, that one? Oh, we need to talk to Elizabeth about this one. Yo, Proxima Joe, what's going on? Oh my god, great to see you up in here. Danger, danger. Yeah, danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh my god, dude, seriously. When was the last time I watched that show? I gotta watch it a little bit more often, just because it was a really good show. Um, you need to give her 20 mist silos? Oh, screw that, dude. I'm not gonna give somebody 20 mist silos. My god, dude. Who do you think I am? I'm not made of money. And even if I was, I wouldn't give them to you because apparently we need to have you do some other stuff. Wait. Oh, wait, we gotta water the flowers. Yeah, what kind of water are we talking about? Is, is Aquafina totally fine? Kind of cool? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Danger Doug, and this is Persona 3 FES, a game that came out way back a long time ago, but yes, I love it all the same. Repair Chihiro. Wait, can you do that? Wait, where is she? And can you go to school, actually? That's another thing we need to, like, really, like, start to look into, see if, um, if we can actually make that happen. Uh, shit. Oh, we got 20 of those, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Where's Chihiro at? Yeah, we need to talk to her for sure. Just because I know for a fact that, like, we definitely need to make sure we can repair relations with her. Basic sword? Um... What about Raphael? What kind of weapon does he give you? Charm resistant? That might actually be kind of cool, but... Well, we could have used that for the last fight, but... Didn't like work. Actually, I think we're good on these weapons, really. We got Mjolnir and um, Surt's weapon. Uh, you just need to rank with the flowers in the school rooftop, but you can't go there on Sunday. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, we just need to keep that in mind. Where's Honey Nut Chihiro at? Like, where's she at, dude? Can you actually go to the school on Sunday? I don't think you can, but I could be wrong. The gate is closed. Today is a holiday. Wait, you bring relationships again? <laughs> uh, we do have a couple of different bits of problems and stuff going on with a couple of these folks, but yeah, essentially we... We screwed up. Like, big time. That stone. Um... What do we want to do? Can we do anything? I don't know if you can do anything. No such thing for today? <laughs> I know, it's like, there's nothing to do. Wait a minute. I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Wait, what the hell? There's a lost girl right there? Oh god, no. I feel so bad for her, but I... Ugh. Are we sure there's no other social links around here? Where's the kid? He's not there. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back to the dorm and just call it a night or some of that, I guess. But still. Oh well. Wait, well, mm, no, 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 go back to the mall, go back to the mall. You can spend the day in game panic and level up your personas a little bit. That's one thing that you can do in this game, which is pretty good, but still. His social link is bad, so good thing? <laughs> Wait, is it really that bad? Oh god, no. Wait, what about this guy? I've decided to come back and spend time more with my friends. Just because we grow a little bit distant doesn't mean it's over. If I don't give up and keep talking to them, we'll get back together in no time. <laughs> I think that's the, way, the game's way of saying, hey, don't give up on your friends or some of that, but still. Greetings, all! I survived my first week in college I'm dying on the inside. Wait, Denzel, you survived your first week in college and you're dying already? Oh no, man. But still, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome and everything, and dude, it couldn't have been all that bad. First weeks of college are usually like, hi, I'm Professor So-and-so, here's your syllabus, and what we're gonna do this week. But still, was it really that bad? Oh man, I'm sorry to hear about that too, but still. Okay. <laughs> Woof! What's up, doggy dog? Um... Can we take the dog out for a walk? That's another big question. Save successful. Okay, what's up, dog? Woof! He's not in the mood for a walk. Oh, damn, dude. Um, I guess, what's up, girl? Career experience seems to be a routine labor that is performed over and over again. That doesn't bother me. But everyone else seems to despise it. Right. Tomorrow is Labor Day, so we get it off. But career experience starts right after that. Oh, bummer, huh? Well, we all gotta do it, I suppose. Junpei, how you feeling? Yeah, I wonder what will happen to Jory after she gets out of the hospital. Will she be able to live any a life like a normal girl? Um, if you help her, Junpei. Yeah, I guess you're right. There must be something that only I can do. Thanks, man. Junpei seems a little bit relieved. Okay. I spent $195 on art supplies for studio art class. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money for art class and stuff. But still, no, dude, seriously, art class is fun. I loved art class way back when um, I was actually taking it and stuff with that, but still. I'm much better at drawing than I am with painting. So I didn't necessarily like the painting classes, um, but I was pretty good at drawing and stuff like that, but that's just me. Uh, games available are... Just do Punching Bag. Oh my god. Persona's strength is increased. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm majoring in art. It's expensive as hell. Dude, it is, isn't it? Like, there's so many different things that you gotta pay for and stuff. Um, and, it's like, you know, with sculpting class and everything, with um, all the different paints and acrylics and stuff that you use in painting classes and stuff, I mean, it all adds up after a while, but still... I'll just go to bed, but still. Uh, TB, if you're majoring in art and stuff, that's awesome. Um, which, uh, sector are you, um, like, going into, like, specifically, if you have, like, a certain discipline that you're doing? Like, is it, um, like, graphic arts or something, like, else I'm with that one? You up. Just out of curiosity. Fuka, why are you in my mind? Um, I'm not sure how to say this, but... Are you okay? What the hell's happening? You need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry! I'm still working part-time at McDonald's, too, so I really gotta learn how to manage my time. Dude, yeah, no, for real. I When I was in college and undergrad specifically, I was working at Arby's for about three years and stuff before I got in my um, internship and stuff, so you had to manage your time accordingly, especially if with um, homework and stuff. But yeah, no, for real. I feel you in that one, dude. Digital art to make concept art for video games and movies? Oh, that's interesting. Dude, TB, that's hype, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I know because like in art and stuff, they have a couple of different um, disciplines and majors that you guys can go through. But if you're doing digital art for video games and movies, that's freaking dope, dude. Let's go. Fourth floor? What for? Fuka, what is going on in the fourth floor? That's where the recording things are. What's going on? What is this? Yamagishi sent something. 
other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Okay. Other Persona users? Don't tell me it's... Is it Strega? Again? Strega. They're still alive. I mean, are they causing trouble again? Or what's the deal? First the Dark Hour won't go away, and now Strega is back? What's happening? Hmm. How many are there, Yamagishi? There's, There's only one, one, but... Is it Chidori? What? I thought she was in the hospital. It is Chidori. Oh, wow. Wait, what? No. She's... She's inside. What? Ah! What's wrong? She inside Fuka's head? No, see. She's inside Fuka's head. Wait, what? Chidori? She's speaking through Yamagishi. That's insane. What? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. What? So I've decided to do something about it. What the hell are you talking about? Come to me. What the heck? I thought she was... Junpei, do you know what's going on? Yeah, she's your girlfriend, Junpei. What, what the hell's going on? Junpei! <laughs> Don't be so hard on the guy, though. He, he probably doesn't know. No, damn it. I, I have no idea. Yeah, and she's not, like, keeping him in the loop about this stuff, like, at Just all. Just leave me the hell alone. Oh, jeez. Something's up. J Junpei? Junpei, wait! Should we have Junpei in our party for this fight? Maybe we should. If we can, though. This is though. most likely a trap, but we're dealing with Strega, so we must pursue this. Mm. And if we confront them, we may gain some insight into our current situation. Cheatery Please, boss fight? Be careful. Dude, watch. I only sensed one person, but the other two may be nearby. Yeah, they may intercept us in this one, so we gotta be very careful, guys. We'll have no idea what they're planning, so choose your allies wisely. We'll go after Iori once you've made your decision. Oh wait, maybe they're actually taking Junpei out of this fight. Ah, oh, jeez, I bet they are, but still. I think you can't. Best awakening in the Yi game? Yeah, no, they're taking Junpei out of the equation. Where do you think you're going? We have to get out of here as soon as possible. Who should we bring? Um... Yukari, you're closer to Junpei than some of the others are, so let's bring you in. Akiko, let's bring you in, too. Who else should we bring? That's another question. I guess, or the dog? Or Ken? Let's check everybody's status really quick. I'm gonna bring the dog so the dog can get experience points. Carmarn is at 54, so he's the lowest um, experience points out of the member and stuff, so, out of the members, but still. That's my thinking with this at least. So Yukari, um, Aki and the dog. Okay. Sounds good to me. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's see if this actually works. Hopefully it works. Dude. Here we go. Right outside of Tartarus, Chidori, right? What's going on? Why are you doing this? It doesn't make any sense! What is this? I mean, I know I'm not that smart, and I've done a lot of stupid stuff, but we shouldn't be fighting like this! Junpei-kun, look out! Wow! Dude, she tried to axe him with that one? Oh shit, she means business, dude. Chidori! Why? 
Get back, Junpei. It's useless trying to reason with her. No, it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up. Oh my god. Dude, that music. Holy shit. I love it, dude. Oh my god. god. I don't belong here. I, I've always known that. All right, we need to get some analysis on her, uh, Fuka. Give me a sec. I'll scan I the love target. this theme. Dude, it's so freaking amazing. No, YOLO, her weapon is so freaking cool, dude. She's still straight, it means she's still an enemy. Oh, man. So what do we want to do about this? Let's, let's try some fire. Bring on the fire, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, <gasps> she absorbs fire. Oh shit! It. Light will work on the enemy. <laughs> it's like the one thing that we got that's like really two gods here. She drains it. My god, dude. All right, fine, it's fine, it's fine. But okay, all right. So fire, stay away from them. But everything else is fair game with this one. You're a nuisance. Spring of life. <laughs> what do you bet that now? Um, how do we want to handle the rest of this? We just need to get like some really crazy shit with this one, but still, I think we got somebody with like power charge or something else, don't we? Or maybe I got rid of that one. I probably did. Dumbass. All right, fine. Um, switch over to Thor. He's got this. Dude, I want to learn this on guitar. Dude, retro. That'd be so freaking hype, dude. Like, for real. Um. I don't know. Just freaking just destroy her. Good thing he didn't use that letter in fight. I know, right? Wait, what? She doesn't have that much HP. Like, realistically. Dude, she's freaking, um, paralyzed now. Dog. Wait. This pain is insignificant. The suffering my heart bears is far greater. I almost feel really bad for her. I feel really bad for her. What a kill her here, here. I feel so bad for her, man. We didn't have to do this. Shidori, we didn't have to come to this. Get it. Please don't say she's dead. Please don't say she's dead. Chidori! I told you, don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is... Attachment. Attachment? Why? Why? Once I become attached to something, I fear that I will lose it. That's no way to live life, Chidori. That's why we only live for the moment. But you, you brought me pain. Pain that I didn't want. Pain that I never asked for. Huh? When I'm with you, Chunpei, I fear everything. Yeah, but that's part of life. That's part of life, Chidori. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear that my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori? I'm sensing... What is this? What? What is it? Ah, oh, shit, not these guys. So then... Maybe that was a quick fight for a reason. Maybe the real fight is these two dudes. I don't know. I don't know. There you are, you sons of bitches! You sons of bitches! <sighs> I bet you the real fight is these guys. It, it wasn't Chidori. That fight was way too easy. Chidori... I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. 
What the hell does that mean, you friggin' ghost? <laughs> this scene. I am no ghost. Derek, what is this? Fate permitted me to live, even though I wasn't attached to life. You might say I was chosen. Oh, is he one of those guys now? Oh, man. You bastard. You bastard. I've made up my mind. I won't let you do this to her anymore. Good thing, Junpei. I'll protect Chidori with my life. Chidori, don't stay with them. Come with me. <laughs> oh, please don't kill somebody, you bastard. Look out, Junpei! No! <laughs> no, why? Junpei. No! They didn't kill him, did they? I'm so happy you're awake. Wait, is this the hospital? Like, uh, w what is this? Chidori? Huh? I... I thought I was... I... I was wrong. I was scared and I blamed you for my heartache. Well, she came around very quickly, but... Uh... Is, is he alive or is he dead? This is the hallucination? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Please don't say they killed Junpei. Why? I never felt that way before I met you, Junpei. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And what is that? I... I want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. That's cute, but please don't tell me he's dead. I... I um... I... <laughs> hey, Ryuji, um, wouldn't actually get that in P5 or some of that. I mean, Junpei, way to go, dude. Like, for real. Love confession. These are his last living moments? What? No, bullshit, dude. I want to be with you. Too. There's no way they can kill Junpei at this point in the game. I'm, oh, I'm gonna, don't kill Junpei. But it could never last. Well, it never, like, lasts forever, Chidori. Eventually, we all die. I'm different from you. How so? Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. So do you have like the death note powers where you know the date or what? He gets replaced by Chido- No, really? Oh god, no. What? You need to have Junpei in the party, dude. Knowing that scared me. Because I had never really thought about dying. And it made me realize that I wouldn't be with you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is how it should be. What? You can't die here, Junpei. No, no, he can't die. He can't die, dude. By the way, Doug, keeping a, a death counter was very appropriate for this game. For this game, yes. absolutely, freaking lutely a thousand percent, but still. Final months, Chidori taking Junpei's place. Uh, very sad moment. Dude, dude. Die? Uh-huh. I love it. I love it, dude. That's awesome, man. Her power is the opposite of mine. Her persona doesn't sense life. It emits life. Oh, that's amazing. I love it, dude. Oh my god, god. But in order to revive a person, she must...
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does she have to sacrifice him or herself in order to revive him? Oh no! Wait, that's how they do it? Oh god, no! What? I can hear the life pulsing through you. Yeah, she has to give up her life to save his. <laughs> oh, Junpei's gonna be a, a huge wreck after this whole thing. Now I will live inside you, and we'll be together forever. Saying, Chidori, Chidori, I'll protect you, Junpei, always. I I'll protect you too. Please, don't go. Feels so nice to be with you. Chidori! Thank you, Junpei. That's so terrible, man. I love you. <laughs> this can't be happening. Junpei is going to want to kill those two. Specifically, Takeya. Chidori! Chidori, answer me! Chidori! Ah! Oh, what a pity. Such a meaningless death. Dude, Takeya, you're gonna die, dude. God, what, that's the second awakening? Oh my god, that's how they do it in this game? Oh my god. No, that is beyond, far and away beyond the most important and meaningful awakenings in all of Persona. I just hate the way that it actually came about. I mean, I don't hate it, but like at the same time, like, it just means a lot. Damn. Ugh. What? Trismegistus? Dude. So you can see being characters the only to confuse personas. Dude, mention that hit Takia instead of Jin. Dude, I know, right? My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to reciprocate. Takaya, don't! What? what is the meaning of this? Release me! Imagine taking somebody who resists fire down with fire. Dude, it burns that much more so, YOLO, dude. Seriously. That is the strength of Junpei's resolve, without a doubt, dude. Like, oh my god. Don't forget about your mission! This is just a waste of energy! You're a waste of energy, Jin. I have something much greater to accomplish. Since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, 
Wait, what do you say again? But know that the day I shall finish this is soon approaching. What is this? Oh, you bastards. Wait! Stop! Let go! I... She entrusted you with this life. Don't waste it. I still feel so bad for the guy. Chidori! Chidori, I... I... This is so hard. But... It's not just my life anymore. Junpei... Hermes Trismegistus, or uh, just Trismegistus, is closest founder, pioneer of alchemy, astrology, magic. Dude, I didn't know that. That's crazy. But it works for his character and for the situation, but damn, dude. Yeah, Junpei was gonna die, but Chidori, like, brought him back. Now she's dead. Everyone was silent as you walked back to the dorm together. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei. Now Junpei heals himself every turn like Chidori? Oh shit. That's such a great power to have, and especially like with all the stuff that's going on with it. Today's Labor Day, there's no school. I told you this game is heartbreaking? Dude, Derek, that doesn't begin to cover it. I mean, that's probably like one of the most awake, uh, meaningful, if not the most awake, meaningful awakenings in all of Persona that I've ever seen. That is nuts the way they did it, but still, like, damn, dude. It's like, how do you top that in other games? You don't. Like, that's why this game is so iconic. So many big moments and stuff, like, for real. Um, speed run time? I don't know about that, Toru. I mean, we got a couple of different things we can do, maybe, but still. Jinbeku and Chidori Sam are so close. I know they were still together now. I never thought it would end like this. Ladies only at the couches, I guess. She was taking those drugs as well. As well. If she hadn't died now, she most likely would have died soon. But fate chose the most beautiful way to end her life. Oh my god. The top priority of all living beings is the preservation of their own lives. But Chidori san gave her life force to save Junpei. There was a connection between them that transcended space and time. I know, I guess it's beautiful, isn't it? In P3, it actually shows Junpei summoning both uh, Hermes and Medea by fusing them for the awakening. Oh, that's cool. Julian, that's a great way to go about it. She was the first girl Junpei's ever been serious about. Do you think he'll be okay? I don't know. Oh, don't say that. You're making me nervous. I know you, Kari, but damn. How does anybody be okay after that? I wonder what Strega is. It couldn't have come from nowhere. Someone must have created them. I wonder what that person was thinking. Couldn't he foresee that this would happen? I don't know, Ken. That's a very good point. I haven't seen Junpei around. But I know he's gonna be okay. We all gotta worry about the guy. But Stone. Mako lost his parents. Yuki lost her father. Junpei lost Chidori. Aki, bro, lost Miki and Shinji. Mitsuru lost her father too. Ken lost his mom and Shinji. Dude, I know. It's like Fuka hasn't lost anybody. Now that I think about it, if Shinjiro was still alive, um, what would his involved person be? I don't know. That's a very fun question, too. We should have gone to the other station. That's my bad, but still. 
I'll just station. See if the star athlete is there, and if he's not, we can always go to the mall and maybe. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Just gonna go through that one. Um, what do you call it? We need to go through that one other type of thing where I guess we gotta find out. Oh no, the flowers thing needs to be in school. No, that's right. What's up, Makoto? You wanna grab some chow? Mamaru invited you to eat with him. Since you have Kai one, you should get along well with him. You wanna hang out with him? Sure. Sweet, let's go to the Takiyaki shop. Mamaru seems excited. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the uh, Takiyaki stand. You and him uh, eat Takiyaki together. Haha. <laughs> Shoveling Takiyaki into his mouth. Gulp yum. Oh man, just a few more. <laughs> Enjoy your food, man. Oh, uh, sorry. I tend to eat kind of fast, I guess. It's a bad habit. He seems embarrassed. What about my siblings? They just polish off the side dishes. That was pretty fast compared to my record. Anyways, Mikoto. I think I'm gonna enter the regional meet. He's gonna be a coach there for the big athletic college. You know what that means? I mean, if I do well enough, I may get a scholarship nod. Sounds like a good plan, man. I know, right? Then I know to quit the track team. He seems happy. I'm pretty much given up at going to college. We really didn't have the money. So I hear about a chance like this as a scholarship, and do you see why it's such a big deal? If I win, I might be able to go to college after all. I bet my mom would be really relieved. Yeah, um, I bet she would be. Yeah, you're right. I feel more relaxed when we're talking like this. He's happy. I really wish my dad was still alive. If he was still around, my brothers wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they get to eat every day. Hmm. Well, complaining isn't gonna accomplish anything. I'll just have to hope for that recommendation. He's giving his future serious consideration. He expresses concern, or concerns. Okay, I think this is rank four, if I'm not mistaken. We're still early with his social link, but still. I am thou, and thou art I. Since everyone fully awakened, I think at this point, this is only theory, but I think they don't need their evokers. Hmm, that's a very interesting point. <laughs> Whoops, the sale on chicken is almost up and I'm supposed to cook tonight. Later. Mamoru rushed to the supermarket. You said to go back to the dorm. Hoke. Hoke. I guess hasn't yet? Oh my god, yeah, let's go. Hello. Junpei's son's still in his room. It's hard to lose someone when you're so close to. I'm worried about him. Yeah, let's go talk to him really quick. Can we actually talk to him? Hmm. I guess hasn't yet? Dude, that is definitely true, to be sure, too. That's where Shinjiro's used to live. Where's Junpei at? Aki goes in his room. Junpei seems to be in his room, but he's not responding. Oh my god, ridiculousness. We gotta figure this out, guys. Um, let me explain why. Watch that stream while I pack and get ready to head back to school, poor Junpei. Dude, Michelle, what's going on? Oh my god, great to see you up in here. Oh my god. So you're heading back into school too? Yeah, no, everybody is like starting their first semesters out and stuff, or um, they're like getting ready to start their first semesters off and stuff, like for real. But still, like how's everything going with you and everything and with all your weekend and stuff, like for real. Having a good Saturday and got any other good plans for tomorrow and everything? Oh my god. Yeah, enough of the practice evoker is more like clutch and actually needed. Chat, help me, what would be Shinjiro's evolved persona? Hmm, I don't know. You have to give it serious consideration and thought as to what that would actually be. Staring to midnight? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, punching bag. Just do it. No one in P1 or 2 have one. You have school, so I have to go through that. <laughs> well, I mean, school is really nice and cool. I mean, <laughs> I did school until about 2017 when I graduated with my master's degree, and I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> but still, that's just me. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. You are tired. You don't seem to be feeling well. Go to bed, you goof. Okay. 
Right, what's exactly what the new day brings? I think the school is sending us on some sort of trip or some of that for career day or whatever. So let's see what they actually do with this one. The next four days are career experience days. Mm, okay. So this is the game's way of like doing filler stuff, I guess. Day after day, you carried the cardboard boxes. Yeah, finally you're at um, you Mish. Oh, let's go. Played a decent chunk of uh, Soul Hacker 2 better intro uh, to the game than SMTV, in my opinion. You know, actually, there's a lot of good pros and cons to uh, Soul Hackers 2 and stuff like that. Um, am I enjoying myself with the game? I definitely am, for sure. And I love the fact that um, you can feel a lot more for the characters than you could for SMTV, because, like, I mean, for the limited scenes that you get with um, SMTV and stuff, I'm like, I don't remember any of their names and stuff, like, for real, but... You, you do get the sense of like a lot of the stuff that um, Arrow and Melody um, and Sizer are going through along with Ringo and stuff and it's just crazy like um, how the entire team gets introduced with everything but um, one thing I will say is that um, it's weird because I found myself like nodding off a couple of times while I was playing the game so but it has picked up a little bit this is the one thing where like once you really start to get involved with the game that's when it really picks up but the beginning for me was a little bit a little bit of a lull period, but still, do like the DLCs that I've been getting with those ones. I'm making pretty good use of those, but still, I'm liking it so far. Not necessarily loving it just yet, but gotta give it time. Gotta give it time. Um, all the games, they get their personas, but they hear the start, they only have the potential. Mmm, mmm, true, true, true. Um, okay, we're carrying cardboard boxes, and is it gonna just fast forward me four days, or what's the story here? I'm just wondering if they're gonna like actually show us working like some stuff or whatever. Hmm. This implied a little bit that the evoker makes the persona a little stronger. I like the gameplay, but the SMTV story really isn't much to write home about. Well, yeah, no ultimate. It's like one of those things too where um Hello. Like SMTV is really about the fight sequences more than anything and stuff. I mean story, you can throw that right out of the window and stuff. It's just the world has ended, God is gone, and his throne is up for grabs, so here you go, go get it. And oh, by the way, you got a lot of other powerful demons and gods that are vying for it too. Okay, so basically go in there and kill people. But still, I mean, that's all the story there is and stuff, and you don't need to know any more than that, but at the same time, like, it's fun to go through those fight sequences and stuff, and no, I've been liking a lot of the fight sequences and the way they've done it with Soul Hackers too. So we'll see exactly how the rest of it evolves, but still. The Sabbath system is interesting, though. I gotta make a lot better use of that, but it seems like you have to target enemy weaknesses, and that's the big, the big strategy in that game. So press turn system is not a thing as much in Soul Hackers 2. You just gotta keep that in mind, but still. Junpei sounds not feeling well. I'm getting really worried about him. After all he's been through, I can understand why he's feeling down. He got really lucky this week, though. What I realize is he took some days off because everyone was a career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling a little bit better now. I'm gonna defeat those Strega guys. I can't take this anymore. I know how you feel, Ken. But you don't have to do it all by yourself. I know. So the game literally just took four days out of your schedule just like that. So they just fast forwarded right there for no damn reason, but still fine. I think it's the constant fear of death that evokers evoke that makes the user stronger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's a very, very, um, that makes sense, like a lot. Woof! Looking at you pleadingly. Wants to go for a walk? Go for a walk? Go for a walk? That's awesome, dude. Let's go. What's up, dog? Frolicking happily. He seems to have picked something up. Oh, damn, dude. What'd you get there, boy? Trappery gem. P1 and 2 personas obtained in a game called Persona. Oh, there you go. You decided to go back to the dorm. Okay. Cool. What will you do? Just go to bed. 
<laughs> no need to study anymore. My academics are maxed out. Yeah, let's uh, hear it from one of your teachers and stuff like that. Like, hey, uh, I don't actually have to study anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to. Your condition improved because you're arrested. Okay, so from there, where are we going with this? Class is finished for today. Hey, I guess, were we ever going to talk, girl? Junpei san went home early today. He was walking quite fast. Perhaps he was not fully recovered from the incident. I am concerned. What about this guy? I almost forgot that he existed. Did something happen to Junpei kun? Oh man, he seems kind of down. It's tough for me to see him like that. I hope he feels better soon. Hey, Yukari, we hanging out, girl, or what? Hey, Makura kun. You walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. It seems Yukari wants to walk home with you. Since you have Raphael, you should get along well with her. Uh, yes. And that's why you need to know this game inside and out to know the schedule of the characters so you can hang out with them so you can even attempt to max all of the social links. Right, and I know I'm not like playing this in a perfect fashion or anything like that myself. We're gonna miss some social links in this playthrough, but still. In Persona, um, Urban Legend 1 and 2X is like a trigger, but just nearly potential. Mm -hmm. If your relationship growing stronger with Yukari, it could become stronger soon. But it's getting dark out. You can send it back to the dorm. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, here we go. Hi. What's up, bruh? How you feeling, dog? Cheer up, Junpei. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want? This came for you. It's from the hospital. That's... They were going through her items when they found that. I know I have to snap out of this. But it's just so hard. You really can't in your first playthrough. Even I failed the first time I tried to max out social links in my first playthrough. What's well, another thing too is like I don't think you really can, unless you really know what you're doing and you're following a guide to a T, which you shouldn't do that anyway or some of that. But still, hang in there, Junpei. Hey, Junpei. Can I take a look? No. Yukari, just leave that with him. That's his. You wouldn't be able to understand her drawings anyways. Wait, is this? Wow, it's really good. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Who wouldn't be able to understand it? It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Really? Chidori. Oh man, no, <laughs> you, you're you gonna give the guy a breakdown. Did... Yukari, I know you're a curious cat and everything, but god damn it, he should have just seen that by himself up in his room. Junpei. He's gonna be all out of sorts for another week. She's telling me to stop moping around. She must be looking out for you. I promised to fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. And I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. It still bothers me a little. But I want you to know that I'm counting on your abilities. I'm counting on you too, bro. Dude, we got this. Junpei. Dude, he's one of my favorite characters in the in this game for sure. Like for real. Hmm? A mysterious voice rings in your head. 
I mean, you can date everybody like Makoto does. The FMC uh, can at least choose not to. Oh my god, god. Dude, this is a team rank up with this one. So crazy. Did you just tell Junpei to talk to his girl? Dude. We just got... So Wait, that's rank 9 now? I didn't know it was rank 9. That's, that's crazy. What? Wait, is there another scene to this or... No. What will you do? Sa save the game and save often! Dude. Yeah, holy crap. What is this, man? Save successful. Hey, dog, you want to go for a walk? Woof! It's not in the mood for a walk. Hey, Junpei, how you feeling, dude? Hey, who's that hot guy in that sketchbook? Story may have touched it up a little. But pretty soon I'm gonna look just like him. Just you wait and see. <laughs> That's the spirit, Junpei. Glad to have you back, dude. Um, look at him. Junpei's matured and knowledge that you have something he don't, and he doesn't blame you for it. Do I know? Isn't that crazy? You have a girlfriend Junpei doesn't anymore. <laughs> well, I don't have an official official girlfriend, but Yukari is definitely the one that I'm um, working on right now. So, let's go to the mall, actually. Let's go here. Stay till the night? Yeah, sure, why not? Loki Fortune. We gotta also make sure that everybody's like pretty much ready to roll or something, so. You're technically already dating Yukari? Technically, yes. What will you do? Uh, go to bed. In P2 investigates the artificial persona user, in P3 Strager artificial um, persona user. Dude. Okay, so going over here to November 29th. Your condition is proved because you're rested. There is no school today. Interesting. Yeah, it is Sunday, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. You're gonna play the answer, right? <laughs> yes, JC, I definitely will. As soon as we're done with um as soon as we're done with the journey, we will be playing the answer. He said he will? Yes. Yes, I will. Well, that's, that's again, one of the biggest, biggest reasons why I got this version of the game, because I wanted to make sure that we had the answer um, available to play, like, right afterwards. So, yes, we are going to play the answer for sure. Save successful. All right. Is my star athlete out there somewhere? Might be able to actually hang out with him, especially since we now have um, now the means to go out and do something on Sunday. So... I might actually see what we can do about doing that. The journey will take a while, though. Mm hmm. Just making sure I've seen people who don't and they missed out. Oof. No, not me, dude. We're going to be playing that one for sure. Yeah, let's go talk to this guy. What's up, Makoto? Want to grab some chow? Uh, sure. Hang out. Sweet. He seems excited. Can we meet at the beef bowl shop? I'm not done with my workout yet, but I'll be there as soon as I can. You just had to go on ahead and wait for Mamoru. I like this guy's social link. Dude, retro. I gotta see more of it for sure. Meanwhile, the beat bowl shop. Mamoru hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> Sorry, I kept you waiting. <sighs> Are you okay, man? <laughs> yeah, just need more training. He seems happy. <laughs> Let's go in, yeah? I I'm thirsty. Just the thought of what if Chidori had actually taken Junpei's place in the C's group after he dies? Dude, I would've been livid, dude. I freaking love Junpei. I'd be so livid, actually. Tanaka's the best cannot confidant. Change my mind. <laughs> you enjoyed a beef bowl with Mamoru. Meals taste better with two people anyway. I used to come here a lot with my teammates, but... So what happened? They wouldn't come now, even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the club seriously. It jacks up practice, you know? It's like concentration. Mamoru seems a little bit sad. He seems to be pondering something intently. I used to love it there, you know? I mean, I spent all my time practicing in the track team. 
Everyone else on the track team always had so much fun. That doesn't matter. I mean, they can't understand what I'm going through. I'll just have to surpass them. Getting better than I am now. You can sense Mamoru's passion about his club. Your relationship is now stronger. Did you buy anything from Tanaka in this game? <laughs> Hardly. I need to actually, like, really, like, hammer down that stuff, but still. <laughs> yeah, we've been skipping that half of way. I need to, like, make a point to actually, like, go talk to him on Sundays. Junpei, the first girlfriend fused um, into my persona. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Oh my god, no. I had a girlfriend. She died, and now she's a uh, part of my persona. Then personas disappeared after that. God damn it. Sad, there was a weird thing. I think I'll power walk the whole way home. You let yourself get lazy now. Okay, man. Mamoru began power walking home. You descend to go back to the dorm. Okay. Okay, my man. Okay. Later that evening. Oh, hey. What's up, Yukari? Full moon's almost here. No shadows have appeared yet, but I'm still worried. Oh, that reminds me. ryoji kuns here again. He's visiting Junpei. Junpei's still feeling pretty down. So I'm glad he has a good friend like Ryoji. Shave the game and shave Ifton. They never lose their personas. Wait, they never do? His girlfriend's literally part of his soul. Oh my god. I know, it's so poetic this game, isn't it? How can I help you? Everyone's okay today. Would you like to see how the others are doing? Yeah, tell me. Alright, Yukari's a 57, Aingus is a 57, Mitsuru's a 56, Junpei's a 57. Aki is a 56, Ken is now lagging behind, and so is the dog. Hmm. Is there anything else I can help you with? We might go to Tartarus tonight for a couple of reasons. Let's go check on Junpei really quick. I'm curious, I'm curious. He's the goat, don't you dare. Hey, Ryoji's in my room right now. But he's not gonna stay long, so call me if you're going to Tartarus. Oh, what should I get him? <laughs> uh, we gotta talk to our guy. Junpei doesn't seem to be in his room. But Ryoji is mysteriously in there. We're so close to the full moon. I know. All the more reason to stop it or some of that. But we also need to get to that one next mini boss, I'm sure, so. Are we done with it? How can I help you? Go to Tartarus. The reason why, the reason why is we have not gotten to the top of Tartarus just yet. And we have three days to make that happen. Wherever it is. Just in case the full moon screws me over or some of like that, but still. Alright, Ken is definitely in. Um so is the dog. Cause I think those two were lagging behind, but we need to get I think we also need to get um Akihiko up there too, because he's lagging behind as well. Let's go. He's 56, right? Yeah he is, okay. Let's go. Okay. All right, so now we've assembled our team, we need to get to the top of Tartarus, wherever it is. How many more floors do you have to go? And do we need to get there before the full moon is here? That's another question. Because every single time we've been to the top of where we needed to go in Tartarus, but are we ready for this? I don't even know if we're ready. Hmm. It's worth a look. It's worth a look. But let's get going, lads. Okay. It's, it's got to be an ending point to this Tartarus business. There has to be. You have to do it before the full moon, right? Something's different about the enemies here. I'll scan ahead. It might take some time, though. Shit. To be honest, I think we wish um, I wish you got to see more Shadow Ops stuff. I think it'd be great to have a P5 Arena game and have all the characters from previous games. Hmm. We do need to see that for sure. But damn, dude. Damn, man. Yeah, this game has been one crazy ride after another. It's just nuts how this 
narratively speaking, has actually gone, but still. Or something similar. Alright, where's this guy, Mad Cyclops? Just try an electric attack. Damn. And here I thought these guys were gonna be a lot harder than they are. I suppose not. Okay, give me experience points, damn you. There you go. Annoying, and what's Mad Cyclops is to me? Was he really that bad? Dude. I mean, he didn't really see all that much to me, but still. Augie loves him. Dude, we didn't even analyze him. He, 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 was, he was dead before we can actually do anything with him. I mean, they knew about the incident in Enibus, so the Shadow Ops definitely knows about Tokyo. Oh my god. Dude, there's a freaking persona in um, Soul Hackers 2 that is from Inaba. It says so in the name. Crazy, isn't it? It's like hair of Inaba. Like a bunny of Inaba. On Perpetual Sand. Um, Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. target. Kill one. Oh shit. Can you keep going? Damn, Ken. It has multiple weaknesses. Nullifies almost all magic, but is weak against most physicals. Oh, we got this. Damn, dog. That's kind of even was named after the hair of Right, right, right. Which came first, the hair or the town? We all know the answer to that question. Money. 65, not bad, not bad at all. There is a very old Japanese folklore. Oh, that's cool to know. Like seriously, like, oh my God. But yeah, Atlas always does their homework with like all the different stuff that they got for um, different bits of mythology and lore. So I would not be surprised if they like bring up some Japanese folklore with all these different bits of games. Is the way they don't respect they didn't try to intervene? There are two of them. Attack! We need to analyze one. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Prime Magus? Let's be fun. Bring the thunder! Hatcom defeated! It's weak against fire! Try Augie's skill! No kidding! Wait, is the dog just gonna slash it? Come on, just slash it. No, you use magic. Nice. Every boss up to the table, it feels like it's easier after that wall, so I think you're set. Mm -hmm. Well, that last mini boss really was not that hard. I mean, it may be like taking you to school as far as like status effects are concerned, but other than that, it really wasn't as challenging as I thought it was going to be. Don't, don't get too comfortable though. It may go very, very wrong. So just be very weary about what you actually get into. But still. Oh, not these guys. Oh, jeez. Um, wait a minute. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Just try it. It's probably gonna get blocks, right? Okay. We're using the obviously new characters and you can alien and players with the old stuff? Yeah, no, for real. Dude, Ken, that's a lot. Alright, so Thunder and Wind do nothing but Ice is the way to go. Where's Meetser when you need her? Do we have one with Ice? I think we do. No, not that one. You should have someone with Ice. Why don't you? Um... Wait, were these guys, like, okay with fire? I'm just curious. The enemy's weak against ice. Yeah, fire actually works against these guys, so you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna freaking assert myself. Um, let's see. Just do it, dude. Burn! What do you do for a living? I burn rocks! 
That's awesome. Job. You burn rocks? How the hell does that work? Oh, wait, that's a new persona. Wait a minute. Aw, oh, shit. Not that crap again. I have no idea where it's at. Um, shit. All these Ken can probably use a little bit better, yes? <laughs> My skills have improved. <laughs> nice, Aki. Nice. Shit! There's one enemy. Easy. If someone Good loves job. P3 to death, um, I love to see the arcs pay off in the layer of dreams, but. Give me that experience. Ah, oh, shit. I lost it already. That, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's that's good good stuff. When the cards go off screen, the one level up is the one that back down. Mm. Obtained Agi Love Gem. Okay. 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 The enemies are getting stronger. Are you okay? Please don't push yourself too hard. Is 210 where we need to go, Fuka? Um. Okay. There are two of them. Attack! Do we have an analysis on these guys? It seems like it's weak oh. against fire. Fire, huh? You don't say. Burn. Enemy defeated. That's the last one. You bastard. Okay. Here's the dog. He's got this. Not bad. Clear him out. Do I like um, Marine? Is more connection to Green than as before, really? Dude, that's actually a very good point. That's a very good point, YOLO. Um. I don't really know. Uh, just go with this one. Yeah, that's fine. Should've gotten the other one, but that's okay. I lost it. Yes, yes, yes! My skill level has increased! Damn, Ken, let's go! Ready to roll or what, kid? There are three enemies! Be careful! Give me a Judgment second. Sword! I'll stand the Try fire! Burn them! Burn everybody! It works! So why not? Battle. God, that's a lot. All right, try to get that persona. Yeah, lost it almost. Well, Loki can get Loki. Oh shit, dude, this guy, this guy would be ridiculous to have at this point in the game. Look at the magic too. Fifty? That's a pretty damn good base magic. Um. I don't want to get rid of Titania, but I kind of am going to get rid of Titania. You just missed Titania and obtained Loki. Most want to see Elizabeth's story goes. She's the best developer room attendant. Won't change my mind. I work for a person that looks like something out of DBZ. Wait, really? It's a rare chest. I'll take it in. Hey, um, kid. I may have just picked up an insane weapon for you, dude. Dude. That's not bad. That is not bad whatsoever. For me? Really? Oh, thank you, man. Hero's bow. Okay. Thank you. Next. I mean, the villain is related to the Kirijou group, and it's like, I want to ask a couple of kids of Persona's powers. I said something, but I need more time to locate it. Please be careful. Hmm. Okay. There are two of them. Oh my god. You guys are making it way too easy. Burn. Good job. You know me. Let's destroy my enemies. Um There you go. There you go. That's most villains after P2. Um, right, where are we at? Alright, there's one of the pink ones. 
There's some of them pink ones. Okay. All right, we got this. There are two strong enemies. Oh Attack. shit! It's these guys. Just kill them. Come on, dog. You got this. This is you, Dean. Nightline, this is the most enraged I've ever been in a stream. Glad I found this community. Or engaged. Ah, I got to... I thought I said enraged there for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, enraged? I hope I'm not doing too bad. But no, JC, dude, seriously. Like, oh my god, there's so many wonderful, like, fans and stuff, um... Like, who get involved in these communities and Persona and stuff, and, like, the fact that I can actually, like, host you guys and everything is just amazing to me and everything. I just... <laughs> if it weren't for you guys, I'm just the guy who plays these games in his apartment and stuff. Like, literally, the entire experience is the way, or the reason why I do this, is really to kind of just interact with you guys as we go through a lot of these games, and they're insane and incredible, but still, like, oh my god... If I can foster that environment to give you guys that kind of, like, interaction with each other and stuff while we play these games, that's literally the best, um, best outcome for me, at least, in all the good stuff. I just hope you guys enjoy yourselves and meet a couple of friends and stuff while you're at it, too, but still. I just want to see other Persona users like in P2, who would talk to you know about Igor for Persona 6. Dude, I kind of want to see other Persona users, too. They opened that door. But they haven't used it as much as they probably could have, would have, should have. But I think they're gonna really hammer this one down when we get down to P6 and stuff, but still. And I don't mean to be insulting to anybody who's like, I want to remake a P3. I'm like, well, I, I'm in that class of people who wants P6 to be their concentration, so. When you really think about, like, you gotta think that there's like only so many people who are like working on these games at any given moment in time and stuff. So for me, I'm just like, no, I, I'd rather have the the team that's working on this game be working actively on P6 to bring that to us. And I gotta believe that around October, which is a lot closer than you guys think, we're gonna get some kind of teaser on Persona 6 at that concert thing that they're gonna be going to. Will Igor even be in P6? Of course he will. It wouldn't be um it wouldn't be right not to have him. It's small, but it's part of why I like it. See you engage when there aren't tens of thousands of people spamming chat. Great <laughs> well, I mean, it is a um a much easier way to actually like engage with people when you don't have uh, like, ten thousand people actually like, just all talking over each other at the same time, so. I mean not that I wouldn't want to have tens of thousands of people watching and stuff, but at the same time, um Regardless, like, whether it was 10,000 people or just 10 people, I'm like, dude, seriously, I just love these games, and I love, like, talking to you guys about these games and stuff, too, so, like, that's just best for me and everything, but still, I don't see why Igor wouldn't be in P6. Dude, he's gonna be in P6, trust me on that one. I'm just wondering, like, about who the attendant is gonna be, and, like, how they're gonna do that. I mean, we got the twins in P5. But where are they going to take it for P6? That's another big question. Will like they have Igor, Guy Protag, and another female attendant? True. No, true. Like, they might do that. Although, I wouldn't put it past Atlas to do a female protagonist and a male attendant for this time out. They might reverse that. I would not put it past them. I mean, I'd be totally on board. That's fair game in my book, but still. Although, and again, this goes back to the whole thing about writing and everything for these games and stuff. If you are going to do a male and a female protagonist and you can choose those options and everything, that's going to take, that, that just means that the game is going to take that much longer to get to market just because you got to write stories and different perspectives and different social links for these people because of romantic interests and everything and how you can actually like, do it. But still, like, that remains to be seen. But if you are going to have both a male and female protagonist available for the game in P6, you got to write different social links with that one. That's that's the hang-up of it. But still. To be honest, I didn't really like the twins or the Bens very much. <laughs> that's because you're comparing it to Elizabeth, who's, like, the best Velvet Room attendant, like, ever. And stuff, but still. 
I can barely sense a powerful presence. Can you please go higher up? Fuka, the pattern is like every 10 or 11 floors. We see something new, so we just need to like, we just need to get there. That's, that's the other problem is we just need to get up there. Hmm, okay. Still wondering where Philemon is. I know, right? Seriously. It's part of the mysteries of these games that keep us uh, coming back to them. I thought Japanese voice actor died in Japan. It's a really important thing. They don't tend to get replaced. Three of them. Strike first. Um, they will replace him. As bad as that sounds, they will do it. Give me a sec. I'll Give me that judgment target. sword. I should have like actually healed up my um, SP, but oh well. Please don't kill me. Maybe I should actually just use my turn and heal up my SP or some of that. I should. Come on, Dakota, you got this. Might as well. We have plenty of those precious eggs. Please help me. Today, mine is the blue butterfly. Dude, true, true. Oh, there you go, kid. The enemy's weak against darkness. Darkness? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Must I get Victor as a new Velver Master? You know, maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't put it past them to actually do that, too. That'd actually be kind of cool. That man is actually an orange butterfly. Ooh. Is there you go? Um. All right, let's let's get this done. Here we go. Sixteen hundred experience points. I'll take it. Yes, yes, yes. My skill level has increased. Yo, Ken, you feeling good, kid? <laughs> My skills have improved. All right, let's go, guys. Here, Pierce is a blue one too. Trim. You have oh. three enemies. Be careful. Get up. Ah, oh, shit! You missed one. <laughs> That's the game's way of saying, man, it can't be too easy on you now. Okay, fine. Yeah. No, the game will pull this crap every once in a while where it's like, no, we can't make it too easy on you or some of that, because if it was too easy, then you'd just be running over everybody. Okay. Get the big experience. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? It's just like, F you. We're gonna shuffle the shit out of these things. Oh my god. At least we got some money out of it, and even more money still. Damn. How much money do I have? Plenty. The answer is plenty. You got plenty of money. You're fine. You are fine. Um. Where is a path that we haven't traversed yet? We gotta find that staircase, people. We gotta find the stair. It is okay. All right, so Fuka, where are we at? Strong presence is above you. I can't pinpoint its location. Can you go up a little higher? Yes, we can, Fuka. Let's try this again. I can sense a powerful presence. Two hundred eleventh floor. Please be careful. 211, you say, huh? 211, that's not very far. But it follows the same pattern of 10 floors. We should be able to get to it. Okay. JC, I know, you definitely can't have that much money, or too much money. Especially in the late game when you need, like, money for those fusions, those big ones. Just go for it. Death's found. Oh shit, yeah. I've been waiting for this. Get up! I reach 999 money, you can't get any more money. Yeah, but by that time, you should be working on some fusions, like some really good ones. Like, really big ones. Oh, wait, is this one? Yeah, that's right. Dude, sir, your stats don't need to go up anymore. <laughs> I'm serious, you're gonna be like the persona we run to the final boss with. Um, yeah. 
It's one of those percent points in Strikers. Dude, that was a really good idea. Like, looking back at it and everything. No, Blue Butterfly represents Wild Cards and Attendance. So the aim on um, himself is only showing up as Arm Butterfly in the same mask. Mm -hmm. Atlas, if you're listening, put Personas 1 and 2 in the Steam store. I'll buy that shit all freaking day, dude. That's a missed opportunity to make like 20 bucks or something like that. Like, for real. Atlas, I got ideas. Listen to me. Seriously, put it in the store, make it like 20 bucks or something like that, and everybody will buy it. I'll buy it. I mean, I don't really care. Um, That's an easy way to raise money for your team for Persona 6. Are you tired? Don't push yourself too much. Try not to, Fuka. I try not to. They're not popular enough? I don't know, man. I think you could get, get away with it and just like do it really easily. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. <laughs> what do you always do? Just burn everything. Just burn everything. Especially that guy. Great battle. I probably should use Loki. Just to get him some experience points or some of that, but. Well shit. Okay. Igor has had two Japanese voice actors, so they replaced him, though, no, not willingly. Mmm, yeah, that's true. They need to, like, really take um, those things into consideration, especially since, um... The Japanese are very, like, proud people about, like, a lot of the stuff that they get into for, um... Story and also just different people that they use in a lot of their, um... In their works of art. They take art so seriously in Japan. Like, Please, so seriously. Just burn him. Oh my god. Dude. Great battle. So, let's get the experience points like normal. Shit, was it this one or the other one? Yeah, it is this one. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thousand experience points is pretty damn good, dude. When you unmask fake Igor, true Igor uses um, old voice clips. Dude. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Stuff like that, you know? Dude, you know what? In my old age, I would love to be Igor. Like, let's say fast forward like 30 years into the future if they're releasing Persona 10 or whatever by that time. I want to voice Igor just because or some of like that. I gotta make that happen at some point, but stone. <laughs> that's a that's a pipe dream, but it is a dream, ladies and gentlemen. It is a dream. Wait, are there no enemies on this floor? Something weird is going on, I tell ya. Wait, is that enemy going through the wall? That enemy was going through the wall. Whoa. Whoa. Burn them all. Except for the one. But if you can, like, get everybody else down to, like, pretty damn good, like, other stuff, you should be fine. Run to the stairs fast. Now we're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, shit. There aren't no enemies. Damn, let's go, dog. Good boy, Korochan. Oh, damn, dude. Part of my Yo, Doug, do you still fear the Reaper? <laughs> I always fear the Reaper. The Reaper is gonna kill me. Oh, shit. Um... Let's try this. Loki, can you actually save us? Dude, does Thor and Loki have like a, a fusion move? I don't think they do, because they got Thor and Loki, but that would be so freaking cool if they actually did. <laughs> or maybe I'm just too much into Marvel comic uh, movies or some of that, but still. Oh, my God. Shit. Um, let's go to the staircase, actually. 
Cause he's on the 211th floor? The mini boss or whatever? You can probably beat the Reaper by this point, but you can never be too safe. Wait, really? YOLO, is it that? Is that time of the game to actually like do this? Odin and Loki are brothers in mythology, not Thor. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's me reading too much into um the Marvel comic, like for 279,000 yen? Oh shit, dude. That's amazing, actually. Take it. Take it. Shit! Shit! Run! God damn it, run! I don't wait to fight the Reaper, JC. Well, we'll see. Maybe one of these days I'll do it just for shits and giggles. One of these days I'll do it for shits and giggles, but today is not this day. Alright. So, let's go down to the first floor. Recover. Save. And see what we need to do for this fight. Okay. Alright, first things first, go here. Go here, before you do anything. Let's mark the progress that we already made. And... If we get killed, that's fine, but... We need to see something. Fuka, where is everybody at? Alright, Yukari is a 57. I guess is a 57 too. Mitsu is a 56. Jubi is a 57. 58. Ken's a 57 too, and the dog is a 57. Wait, shit, who is the one who's at 56 again? I'm sorry. I think it was Mitsuru, but still. Actually, no, let's get Team Ladies up in the case. All right, done. Let's get all all the girls plus Makoto on this um, mini boss, actually. <laughs> um, I'm just like gonna try something with this one, but still like, oh my God, we had Team Guys plus Dog. Let's get Team Ladies on the case. Um, Ken and I guess. Please take me with you. Um. Now before we go rush into battle, let's make sure, make sure we log this in really quick so we don't have to worry about like reloading or whatever. Or if we have to reload, we can re reload like right here when we actually come back to it. So, all right. This is a probing mission. I don't know if we're gonna actually take this thing down, but so far we've been okay. Maybe it could work. I'm hoping it can. Really powerful shell near the middle. Just be careful, okay? Loki, I love you as a persona, but I'm gonna assert myself here. Just because assert has been way too good. But still. You gotta bring your best and see if it actually works. Oh shit! Okay, we got a dice monster here. Okay. I see it. Good luck! Fuka, you're not telling you uh, uh, us that like, you believe in us? That's disconcerting. It's Arcana is fortune. This will be a difficult fight. Fortune, huh? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Fortune, huh? Let's see if fire does anything to it. No! Megadolion? We survived. But damn. Hang in there. Oh jeez, we're gonna have a tough time with this, aren't we? Shit, um... What about Loki? What about Loki? Let's try it. This is a probing mission after all. Ice! If not fire, let's do ice! Tetracarn. 
Oh jeez, man. Spear drain. You can only hit it with physical. Oh man. Dude, we're gonna have our work cut out for us with this one, I'm sure. But setting Yukari to be the healer of the group is really the best best move to make at this point. I am forced to wait. I guess you should be able to like, hit this guy, shouldn't you? Um We gotta have like a really good physical persona. I think I'm gonna use Raphael for this one, actually, since I can't actually do regular attacks with Thor's hammer. So instead we're just gonna do like well, he's also got Meteor on. Well, we just did this. Well, um... Understood. Just do that, actually. Just too afraid to hit Tetrakarn Wall. Well, what we could do... What we could do is do Mighty Swing. It won't be that big of a hit. Reflection back on us. Right, it's not that big of a hit. Oh god, that's terrible. Hang in there. Right, she's afraid to hit a wall, but that the fact that we did a medium hit versus like a heavy hit makes it. It makes it that much better. Explosion. Here you go. Must be eliminated. Yeah, here we go. I'm cool with that, actually. Wait, it's Magdolia. Not Magdolia. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're okay. This ends now. This ends now. Hang in there. This sucks a battle of attrition too. You just really gotta like lay Let's into him for what he is. Yo! 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 I took him down to almost half of his HP. I'm cool. I'm cool, dog. I'm cool. Um. Yeah. Let's just do it. Just do it. Dude. Okay. That is respectable as amount of damage. 162 is a pretty damn good amount. Strike while the iron's hot. Dude, YOLO. I think we might be able to get this guy down. Hang in there. Especially with that attack boost. That really helps. Yeah, Yukari's there as like a health battery if you need her. Let's do We're doing good, guys. We're not doing bad. We're doing good. We still got attack up and everything. Oh, God. Oh boy, that, that always hurts. But it also illustrates the fact that how, how far our parties Hang come. And the fact that they can survive those kinds of things. Proceeding. Uh, it must be eliminated. I don't like the fact that I guess is at such a low level right now. That kind of sucks, but still, what can you do? I'm gonna just do this to be safe. I'm just gonna do this to be safe, maybe. Maybe Orgia knows I guess. Maybe. Let's let's go one more round. One more round and we'll see what she looks like. Or what this guy looks like. Another text for bird. I failed to finish it off. I'll show you my true power. This is my other self. What level are you? Uh, Makoto is a level 65, the rest of the team is at like 57. It must be eliminated. Someone help me, Zuro Senpai! You're still okay. You're still fine. I think we got this in the back. We just need we just need to go on the offensive. And I did boost everybody's attacks. We are okay with this. This boss is kind of free. 
Kind of, yeah. I should have said old ladies to like full assault at that point, but that's okay. One more round. Oh god, no. Get out. He's gonna do that so often that his health is now like really down, isn't he? Come on, I guess you got this. The enemy is still alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble it. I'm gonna gamble this. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You gotta gamble against this guy. Come on, man. Wait, why are you doing that? It's sir, Jesus Christ, woman. to wait you're gonna make me attack this guy oh my god Mitsuru need you to, to me. uh full salt where is I suppose I could throw this in my person or some of that but still let's just do this though that's fine provoke Oh god, no. You're provoking me? Oh man. This ends now! This ends now! Hang in there! Mm. I guess I need you to go on the offensive and maybe attack this guy. You gotta take one for the team, girl. Out of options. Shit. You're gonna make me do it? Fine. I'll do it. I'll be that guy. I will be that guy. Fine. Oh, come on. If he provokes Orgia mode, um, he's basically dead. We can rush her. Oh, there's a good idea. Dude, just do this. Wait. Hang in there. Wait for Yukari to do her thing, and then you can just do rush. Right, right, right. Yeah, I guess you can only take seven damage from that shit. Just go for it, dude. Is he gonna crit? He crit. Here's our chance for an all out attack. We got this, guys. We got it. In the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, not bad. The enemy is getting stronger too. Dude, when I saw that, I was like, holy crap, dude, we actually made it. That's so freaking crazy, but still oh we good. We made a lot of progress in tonight's episode. This is nuts, dude. Like, oh my god. And dead? Dude, I guess this die is dead. <laughs> Trillite, dude. There's no better way to put that, dude. Like, for real. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be calling it a night over here, seeing as though we're about eight minutes over, but it was definitely worth it since we, um, took on that mini boss and just totally wiped the floor with it, so. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on Tuesday evening with the continuation of this thing as we get into December. What is the next full moon going to look like, especially now that all the shadows are gone, and with Strega on the loose, specifically those two dudes... I don't know. It's anybody's guess as to where this whole thing goes and stuff, but I might do some level grinding off stream tomorrow and also Monday. To make sure we can get everybody to hopefully at least like level 60 across the board so we can deal with whatever Strega I'm assuming is going to be throwing at us, so I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. You're basically at the top of the block? Wait, YOLO, really? Man, I didn't know we were almost there. But enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and stuff like that. We got this one coming up on Tuesday when we get back to it and everything, but until next time, I will see you all soon in the next video. Take care, everyone. Stay classy, and good night.